Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2 and the Binding Blade DLC, which has finally arrived. Reintroducing the Crusader, introducing a brand new character, the Duelist. And I believe we get like a uh, like a special kind of scene that's going to play out to introduce them as well. And on top of that, and roots of our kingdom. Find any advantage. we almost certainly have more stuff to spend the candles on now, which is very exciting. So... First of all, I feel like I should... Okay, so we already have the Duelist unlocked, it looks like. Welcome back. We could spend all of our candles to immediately bring her up to full level. But I don't know if I necessarily want to do that yet. I'm also curious. Spare a thought for tools of iron. Ah, yeah, of course. Such implements will serve us well. The Crusader's currently lost and in need. That's very interesting. I like that. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. I think what I'll do here is unlock a couple of her paths to start out with, along with a few of her trinkets. Let's go with the uh, Instructress and the Antagonist paths. A little more light, sure. A little more strength. And then we'll hang on to our candles just in case we want to maybe unlock some stuff for the uh, Crusader, assuming we're able to get him here as well. The road calls once more to its dark passenger. The, uh, the patch notes, though, that we were just re reading here over on twitch.tv slash bear taffy alluded to some sort of, like, unique encounter going on with the Crusader prior to be able to... or prior to being able to recruit him. The seat of your denial, perched precariously in the murky gloaming. I'm also curious... Not sure if it necessarily matters which confession we go with here to begin with. I was going to take it easier on myself, but I kind of want to take a look at the Chapter 4 boss again here since they changed up a couple of things for that. But I do, I'm, I'm starting to lean toward Chapter 2. Let's just, let's... Grievances gain a terrible strength. Let's make damn sure that we're going to be able to, uh, see this one through to the end here since I'm curious of a few more changes that have come via this patch as well. ...worship that stretched across vast gulfs of time and tribe. But we did not understand it. Giveaways are open, by the way, if you're joining us here on Twitch. A place between places. We'll be doing our first pick me in a hot minute here and now. And of course, going to be bringing along our brand new character here, the Duelist. Perfection glints mm. wicked along the rapier's edge. Love it when it just fits in so perfectly, man. It's as though she was here the whole time. The waner's ready to go. Those sound effects, the little whip of the rapier in the background. Mm. Shout out Power Up Audio for just stellar sound design across the board in this game and the previous one. Just and not to mention a whole bunch of other games. That team is outstanding. Big new feature here, by the way, in the form of party loadouts introduced via the DLC. As you can see, you can uh, set up your desired party along with the paths you prefer for them, and then go ahead and hit this Save Loadout button. And then there you go. You can change the name of it, like My Fave Load. Phrasing questionable, but there you go. Option ready. It's a pretty cool new feature, in my opinion. Let's check out her skills and see what sort of stuff she's got going on. If I can figure out how to do that. Do you not see that on the screen anymore? Rename, roll random hero name, change path. Here we go, we've got this. The new crossroads sucks. Yeah, I'm not, oh, I'm reading that out of chat. Not, not to have that speak for my opinion, having seen it for 12 seconds, but. Okay, right click. Ah, here we go, all right, yeah, that's. I like the look of things now. I like the, the slight changes to the UI here. I'm not sure about introducing an additional click to find these pages, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Not a big deal. Uh, Touche. Ah, she's got her own unique tokens here going on as well. I wonder if those are in the uh, the glossary yet. But yeah, you can just right click to open the hero sheet here apparently. Touche is going to be uh, affected by her specific things. She'll invert her stance. This is a unique thing to her, by the way. This whole stances situation that we're going to have to become more familiar with as well. Disengage. Or symbols that I'm going to need to learn here, apparently. Adds a dodge token. A little bit of damage as well. Moves her back one. So she's very mobile. Be great with a dancing team. Oh yeah, my bad, Aries. Good point. 
Gotta get my face out of the way there so you guys can actually see what's going on. Flick will ignore dodge when self sword shielded. Ignores block when swiping. Ah, okay. She gives herself three tokens. It's got a single turn cooldown. I wonder what the upgraded version of that looks like. Ooh. Okay, okay. So a lot of this has to do with her unique tokens. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of time studying those. I think the early combat will be good for that. Seems she's best suited to the front ranks. I think even probably position two would be best for her. So let's see what's looking like some good options for the remaining slots here. Kind of want to bring the Vestal back out again. A sister of battle. Repudiated. But unbound. I also want to bring the flagellin out, considering the uh, patch note, Zealotry. noting Another his desire for the soul. for suffering, leaving us with one final slot. Could bring out the nerfed man at arms. He took a pretty big beating as a result of the the uh, the patch here. He's been substantially nerfed. What do y'all want to see? It's been a minute since we've done some Darkest Dungeon 2, although I'll, I'll, I'll field responses from the pile. What are you most clamoring for here in our third open slot? You want to see that nerfed man at arms? Man at unarmed, indeed. Somebody for the duelist to dance with. That's a pretty good idea, actually. I was thinking maybe a jester for something like that. Yeah, that could be a pretty good idea. Although, man at arms would work fairly well for that as well. Looking like a lot of jester love. I'll, 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 go, I'll go with that. That seems like a good idea. A murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck. We are sadly going to have to reset our memories here so we can get some brand new names in the mix. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with the progress that we made on that anyway. So this will be our last call for the pick me if you'd like to be chosen here for today. And I'm going to go ahead and set our paths and our desired skills as well. I think I'll go with an Examinate Flagellin up front. It's usually been my go-to for him. Kind of curious to just try out a Wanderer to begin with here for the Duelist, and then maybe we'll try out these other pads in the next couple of runs here. Stance passives enhance survivability via repost. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we'll just stick with the basic Duelist for now. Jester is going to roll with the Soloist, I think, here for a little bit of additional damage in the mid ranks. And then I think we'll maybe try out a Seraph this time around. I think the Consecration is going to be pretty strong here, considering the amount of movement we're doing with the middle two. Let's roll with that. Swap out our skills here. So she's obviously going to want both of her Consecrations, along with removing any of these front line attacks. That will do it. Where's the other one? There we go. We got both. Okay, so let's just go for uh, Divine Comfort. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Ooh, an Evasive Vestal as well to begin with. I didn't even notice that. Nice. Our Soloist Jester may keep inspiring tune here. I definitely want to get some Fade to Black in there. Make sure that we've got those move skills equipped. The Harvest is probably the way to go here as well. And maybe we can do an Encore in this build. Might not be a bad idea. Solo is probably not a bad idea either. Or a finale. Actually, yeah, a finale could be pretty good too. We'll do that. Sounds good. And then finally with our Flagellant. I think we go ahead and give him the Acid Rain. Keep the Punish there. Got his Deathless still equipped. I think I like that kit for him too. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Torn, Ra or Torn Rotator Cuff is unfortunate, but that doesn't really affect him too much. Crusader's back. We got to find him apparently is the situation here, but he is going to be returning here. In a matter of moments, I'm sure. For now, very last call for the pick me if you'd like to be selected. We're drawing names here and now. We're going to start with the first three, Flagellant, Jester, Vestal, and then our fourth one will build up the drama to see who our very first duelist is going to be. Starting off with True Santo, our Flagellant. Dragnarov will be our Jester for the day. Our Vestal. That's going to be Kenny G Jr. That's a good one. And finally. Drum roll, please. Bear bongos in chat if you could. Which I need to add to the main emotes I just realized, by the way. I forgot they added more uh, animated emote slots on Twitch. 
Our very first duelist is going to be da 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 Sid! Sid 400! Congratulations. You'll join us as our Wanderer Duelist on our very first run here in the Binding Blade DLC for Darkest Dungeon 2. Let's do it! He's back. When you are ready, this rutted roadway will finally take you home. That's a great return, Wainer. I missed you, you buddy. Feel it. A change in the air. He's like my talk show co-host. Somebody to bounce off of, you know? Of your denial is giving way. Don't you dare tell me he's not sentient. This is the real Wayne June speaking to me in my copy of the game, okay? I refuse to see it any other way. All right. Our first turn. Our first sight of the duelist in combat mode. Let's check her out. All heroes are human. I don't know about that, Wayne. Great looking character. Love the uh, art for her skills in particular. This one I'm very into. This is good stuff. Just taking a full look at the character model here as well. She's looking lethal. Let's do it. Oh, let's take a look at the uh, glossary as well so we can quickly learn about her skills. Okay, so this is aggressive stance is going to be the little swiping icon there. Defensive stance will be the one with the shield. And then I think that might have been it. I, I, I think I might have overcomplicated things. Those might have been the only two new tokens for her. So that's easy enough to understand. All right, then. So let's see. Currently... I'm not sure she has a stance active. Here, let's let's do preparation and let's see if maybe. All oh, right, yeah, and of course we want to see the animations for uh, all the skills here as well. Oh man, I'm so excited for that part with the Crusader too. That's gonna be good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and move my. Sorry, not the game. I'm gonna move my face up and out of the way a little bit here. I forgot we're in Spelunky Zone. There we go. All right, let's try this preparation out and see if this actually changes what the uh, appearance is of the character. Because I'm wondering if, like, the way that she stands is your indication. Yeah, I figured it would probably give us some sort of... some sort of hint. And that's a clear enough one right there. All right. Start with the Consecration of Light. Really empower her. Put your cam in the torch really tiny. There we go. Yeah, back to Tiny Bear. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the pick me determine it, Robin. I I I do remember the the thefts of Robin Ebra, which sounds like the name of like an Edgar Allan Poe novella. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give some other folks a shot. All right, let's see here. So we're now in the aggressive stance. Heal self for 10% on repost, or a small chance of that anyway. She moves forward with the touche in her aggressive stance. Faint will invert stance, but add two reposts, meaning she would be in the defensive mode there. Okay, interesting. Pull target forward when defensive stance, knock back when aggressive stance. Okay, okay. But this will also initiate the defensive stance. So this is going to take some thought. This, this, this character is going to require me being aware of several different things. Welcome back. Including things that we don't typically consider, aka movement from skills and stances, which obviously we've never considered up to this point because they're brand new. Horse there! Thank you for the tier two for 75 months. Welcome on back in. Motel's on the moon. Thank you for the 17 earlier as well. Appreciate you. Cuckles with the 45. Give him some bear hugs, please. Show the love from the pile. Thank you. Thank you very much for all the support so far today. Appreciate it. I wonder how effective she's going to be from the back rank as well. I feel like that might be a limitation to her. These nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. I redeemed a hug from Tommy. I think chat 80. I got you a little. Little Tommy guest appearance. Tommy's excited for the return of the Crusader too, man. He doesn't want to be left out. Huh? 
Everybody loves Tommy. I, I really like Tommy's new position. I think him lurking, like, just within your vision in the very back corner of the broadcast at all times. I don't know if there's a better way for him to be engaged with us. Oh, right. Yeah, I was going to check to see. I, I feel like I should maybe... I think I should probably unequip Finale. Welcome back. No, not Finale. I gotta, I gotta keep Finale equipped. I gotta have ways we come here in summers of years gone for her to get back to, to the front. Think and rest. That's what I'm mostly concerned about. The Lost the Crusade. The Ooh. Their legions lost. Their exploits legend. Mounting the battered helm trophy on your stagecoach will begin your search for the missing knight. This quest will affect difficulty and other variables. It's recommended for players with a grounded understanding of the game's systems. I think that's me. The crusade has long ended. The kingdom's defenders have passed into legend. Commonly understood to have all perished in the conflict, rumors of a surviving knight have surfaced with the discovery of this helm. Mount it to your stagecoach and seek out the last of the crusaders. Their legions lost, their exploits legend. Confront the scattered dregs of the invading army and purge them from our lands. Goddamn right we will. Mindfulness, as vital to survival as sharpened steel. Oh, that is exciting stuff. Okay. Got a couple more pick me's already ready to go here. If you'd like to be entered in again, P I C K M E in the chat. We'll draw a couple of names for our stagecoach and our bounty hunter who's going to be joining us pretty early on. And I'm thinking we probably just go ahead and swap out Santo this way. We don't have to worry too much about the mid-rank swapping. Yeah, let's there do it. no man behind the hunter's mask. Only a terrible thought. Sounds right. Hoping for the... Ah, utility belt's pretty good. I was hoping for the kill list, but that'll, that'll work. We'll get his uppercut equipped. I think the come hither's a good choice. Get to finish him in there for sure. Nice. Okay. Hemophiliac is unfortunate. Let's see where a bounty hunter is going to be today. Ninja Bear 95. Welcome to the team. Good to have you. And our stagecoach for the day. I'm getting I'm getting that exactly right. Veronica one 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 I don't think it'll let me do it, but I tried, damn it. All right. Provisioner. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Ooh, that's a fun find to start our day. Yes, please. Snag the assay gear instantly. I'm thinking Crocodilian might be the way to go here, considering how much move we, we've got going on with this squad. I think I think Crocodilian and the Duelist are best buds. So let's go ahead and snag that for today. I'm gonna get some food here. A little bit of delicious slime mold. Jackson. Continuing their storied history of gifting our party members subscriptions. Get them some bear hugs and bear gifts, please. Thank you very much. What else are we buying here? I think we get the whiskey. Kind of want to grab a stimulating poultice. Seems like a nice early investment. And let's get those glimmers. Get a couple of smoke bombs and we'll get some cow trips and that'll probably be good for now. Cool. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Now let's take a peek at what some good upgrades might be here for our duelist. Preparation, I felt like, was probably going to be a pretty damn nice one. Although all that really does add is the additional repost or additional conditional repost damage, which seems like the most outrageous thing in the world now that I say it out loud. Execution one, right? Yeah, we're dealing with the death tokens now. We don't have death's door anymore. It's all about the death armor tokens. So execution is certainly going to be something we want to consider as well. Need a new animated Tommy emote, just Tommy spinning around or like a Tommy that zooms in on the black and pebble eyes. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. 
three reposts off a of feint is pretty damn good. That might be worth it on its own. Rank one or two gain. Oh, this is nice. Instead of having to do a preparation to start off with a stance, we could just do a touche and immediately have a stance. I like that. Let's do that. And then I think I'll go ahead and upgrade a Consecration here as well. Maybe the Fade to Black, actually, yeah, for the Applied Combo. We're not really utilizing Combo on this team, are we? Although we do have the Bounty Hunter, but that would only be for the one region. Maybe that's not the best idea. Harvest is pretty good. I do think the Consecration is going to be best. The Consecration of Light for the chances of crits. Let's go with that, yeah. All right. Strong start. A little company for the long ride ahead. And then one last draw here. Sneak Blade's going to join us as our crocodilian today. Welcome on in. Any advantage is a good thing. I can't equip more than one of these, can I? Oh, man. God, that would be so good. Can I? I don't think so, right? I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Por que no los dos? That would be broken. Oh, man. Now, I didn't watch the preview stream yesterday, Amphibians. I wanted to stay as blind as possible going into it. We could check, right? Yeah, but the candles, the thing is, the candles are actually valuable again to us. So I, I think I should maybe go ahead and prioritize that. Not to mention trade routes, a pretty nice uh, benefit. The shrouded coast, isolated and drowning in amphibious degeneracy. All right, let's go ahead and feed these guys. Give him the stale mold since we don't have to bring him all the way in case he gets a disease there. We are ready to go, man. Our first region of the DLC. Let's do it. Hopefully able to find our boy, Reynold. Let's head out. Oh, that's a good idea. We could get a prediction going again, couldn't we? Yeah. Whether or not we're going to lose a character in this region. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in noxious degradation. All right, so let's quickly investigate the map here and see if there's anything that stands out, anything out of the ordinary that may indicate to us where the Crusader would be. I'm not seeing anything. Feel free to shout it out if you spotted something yourself, but it looks pretty standard. Definitely not going up against the Leviathan this early on. I'm not looking to get my butt kicked. Within the first 30 problem. minutes today. Is it not? And the hoarder, unfortunately, doesn't seem all that valuable at the moment. We've only got four relics, so I think I need to build up the coffers a little bit prior to getting into the Travel shops again. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. So let's go left. Let's see how our duelist is going to fare here. She is pretty speedy, too, isn't she? Yeah, she's got a base speed of six. Wow, that is... Uh, that is really nice. So we do want to start with a touche here, I believe. That was the plan after all. It's going to get her a defensive stance right away. Have the Consecration of Light as well. And then she should be able to start off the turn next round. Get the token buff, move via skill, and then the Jester or the Bounty Hunter should be able to benefit. So yeah, that's all looking pretty good. Uh, you're going to die. Thanks, buddy fast AF. It's it's nice. The slow suffering begins. Because as you might have already realized, I'm beginning to kind of plan around that. Steady yourself. Although sadly, Bounty Hunter did manage to get the first turn this time around, despite his three base speed. I suppose I should probably equip one of these things that benefits from utility belt as well, but I don't know. You can kind of just probably ignore it. Doesn't really matter that much. Nice stun, good stuff. Already four stress on her already. Let's see. Disengage. Ignores repost. These ignore repost. This ignores dodge on defense and block on offense. Man, she's got a lot of very specific conditions, which if met can be extremely powerful. And I love that. 
easily dispatched. That is really cool. I want to go ahead and plop a regen down here too, I suppose. Negate the blight effect. And again, I don't want her in the back, but I suppose this would be a good opportunity to see whether or not it's doable. I didn't actually check, but this will force forward. me to. And effective. She can do touche from the back. Ooh. But it's going to move her back, which is, I mean, that's fine, I guess. If she can, oh, she can only hit the front two ranks, though. But that's really good. I'm surprised. She is impressing me a lot so far. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a finish him. That's kind of what I was solution. assuming what would happen, Jake, is that her idle stance would change depending on the stance that she's in. It'd be cool if that were the case eventually. An easy way to identify it, too. But again, you know, there's tokens. I can just move my eyes slightly down, but who's got time for that? Put her in rank one. She might be better off there. Yeah, you got a point. Two arms. Though it brings no satisfaction. Ready and waiting. Let's get everybody liking the new girl. What kind of Christmas cookie should I bake while watching the stream? In my mind, there's only one kind of Christmas cookie, and it's just a plain old sugar cookie, but you gotta paint it with frosting with all kinds of various different cutout shapes. This is entirely based on my childhood that I'm projecting onto your experience. But if I'm being real with you, that's 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 the only choice to me. I guess ginger snaps are pretty good. So yeah, that's a, that's a classic classic Christmas play. That's a winner. Shortbread with a maraschino cherry on top. That does sound delicious. I've ever had a cherry on a cookie. Now I want one. I'm sorry for your lack of cookie variety, Bear. I mean, I got it through the, re through the rest of the year. Although now that I think about it, I think we might have done that same thing. Yeah, no, we did, absolutely. We, we, we applied that formula to three separate holidays. Pretty effectively, I might add, via, or, you know, it was, uh, it was Christmas, Halloween, and Easter. They all get the same sugar cookie painting experience. I was into it, so works for me. Tree-shaped sugar cookies with crystal frosting. You know it. My people. All kinds of buffs going on to start off with here. This is really just sort of... Now that I've gotten a, the, the foundational understanding of her, um, this is all beginning to very quickly click. Very quickly quick. There you go. I have a little bit of bleed resist. A simple choice. At least it should be. That's going to be a left. A whole bunch of combat early on, but I'm pretty okay with that considering our quarter situation. Ooh, our first encounter with this. This is exciting. Does this show up on the map if I hover over it, I wonder? It does. Yeah, it says barricade. Cool. All right. Let's have a gander. Brand new enemy type. And it's menacing. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm missing much in the back, by the way. There's no skills to be spoken of for the spiked barricade. But at least we get a bear pun out of it, right? I see, I see, guarded. It's gonna add some bleed to me. Okay, applies guaranteed bleed on melee hit. Chance to apply combo as well and reduces range damage taken. All righty. We have anything that can ignore protection on our squad, I wonder? We do, yeah, mark for death. Which doesn't remove it, but at least does something there. I think I should, should probably go ahead and regen again here too. Especially with the amount of bleed likely to be included in this. I think these guys are new too, aren't they? I don't know if we've ever seen a swordsman before. 
Let us take a closer look at the thing. As repulsive as it is. Nice. Got a new skill to discover on them as well. Well, Analysis we know what it is, apparently. Is the natural prelude oh, action. no, these are two new ones, right? Yeah, we got the swordsman and the spearman. Cool. Well, all right. New enemies as well. Love to see it. Let's, uh... That eh, feels like a bit of a waste. And he's going to be, be bled twice from this. But that will at least hit both walls that are, of course, bleed immune, but that's a little bit of damage still. All right, we are not going to be able to stop that on her. Combo doesn't matter. That is the most damage here from the touche, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Resisted the bleed too, nice. Ow, oh, okay, he's got a forward lunge. Wait, what was that? Is that not a new skill? It's not showing up for the new skill up there. Huh, weird. All right, he's still protected. Let's go with this. Buff up the incoming finale. Clamor. Oh, that's gotta be the other new skill for him, right? Yeah, that's the one. Remove all block, cannot gain block for two rounds and has a chance to apply combo. Interesting. All right, let's go with this since we need to deal as much damage as possible and aren't getting through that yet. Say goodbye to you. Weak and hit, yikes. Or weaker, I mean to say. Weakest, in fact. Man, they got a lot more HP than I expected. All right, grab a crit there. I think we ought to probably go ahead and move her back. That is the thing about this build is that she's not going to be at all effective in the second rank. So finales are going to be kind of risky in that regard. Definitely need to do some healing on my bounty hunter here. That bleed is getting nasty. Got her back to the fourth rank at least. Oh man, they are going after him. Holy cow, yeah, that's an 11 bleed now. Holy shit. Get rid of this at least. Stop him from having to bleed any further. He is going to be down to death's door, though. I guess I might as well try to stun here, right? Yeah. Nice. That'll give me an opportunity to maybe bring this back. Oh, never mind. He's fine. Crit heal. We're saved. See ya. Touche and away. Very good. I'm liking her a lot so far too, Shadow. She has been very impressive. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Interesting. Remind the, the lethargic bishops. Worn ragged by time, travel, and tumult. Of the broken battalion to whom they owe their fealty. Interesting. Okay. The quest continues. Still on the lookout for the crusader out here. Apparently we're on the right path. Go ahead and add these into her. Insta win item for the jungle, that'd be neat. That certainly seems like the appropriate target. Yeah, I believe that's the Tangle people. Broken Battalion. This is a New York Times recipe for peppermint patty shortbread cookies. Oh. Oh, yeah. No relationship benefit there, but there's no detriment, so. Let's do it. Four cabin boys. Ew. I don't like it. All right, so. The big takeaway from how we have things going on now is the fact that in the ideal start for us, a.k.a. Touche for the defensive stance immediately, we're pretty much guaranteed to get her moved back into the third rank on round two, meaning that I should probably just go ahead and do... I think I should just move her to rank one. I think that's going to be better. And then there's going to be a lot less 
unintentional interactions. All right. One transformed, unfortunately. However, we did dodge the attack, so that's nice. At least we might be able to take this one out before they manage to pop open. There we go. Oh, yeah, then we got a finale coming up. Nice. Could also move her to rank three to get her to the aggressive stance. Very true. Bravo. A valid point. All right, so there's got to be a better option for me here, but I also kind of just want to kill him, but not going to be able to do that, so... Let's take a look at this. Disengage. Pull and knockback doesn't really matter here. A repost, I suppose, could be something. If we manage to get him to target here, that does give us a pip as well, which is pretty nice. And it doesn't really matter. Cool. Straightforward. And effective. Bounty how to replace the uh, flagellant this time, Bald. Apply bleed or a chance to apply bleed on hit if a serrated item is equipped. Also gain additional bleed piercing. Don't think we have... Oh, we do have serrated items. We have the crow's feet. Nice. That's really, really good for the jester. Okay. So we just got to keep that equipped for now. And we're going to do this. Additional healing given on the vestals. Nice. Off we go. What was the first note on the right that you didn't start with? That would be the Hoarder, I believe. Right? Which we got another one coming up in a minute here, and we actually have some relics to spend now. Oh, I think all barricades look like this now. I don't know if they necessarily mean that all barricades are going to be this exact fight. I hope that's not the case. That'd be kind of... get pretty samey pretty quick, I imagine. Guess we gotta be used to these guys being our best friends. Start with our consecration up front again. I'm really liking that start. Oh, I don't know why. I, I need to not target the barricade either, obviously. Just realize that. It's gonna be much, much better to actually target these guys so that they're. Oh, it's. Re okay, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter then. I didn't realize it resets at the start of every round. Okay, okay. Stun time. Oh, except if he's not in front of it. It will he will still keep these three and four. Oh, all that did was make it worse, actually. Shit, that sucks. I just made it so that the barricade's protecting both of them now. Unless I can manage to kill him before that. Eh, not gonna happen. Alright, crap. Oh no, it did go away. And it's only for one turn. Okay, yeah. Well, that, that makes way more sense logically, so I'm glad that's the case. Oh, and I did the damn thing to the Vestal again here. Even having her in rank one, I did it. So I guess I just got to pay closer attention. That's really all it's going to come down to. Or, like someone else suggested, it might be a much better idea just to have her in rank three so that she's got the aggressive stance start. That's probably the way to go. Yeah, that's seeming more and more like what I should do. I think I'm going to go ahead and rock that for a bit. Very glad for the regen here, obviously. Yeah, these barricades... They are... Posing a little bit more of an issue than I expected. Not loving this. Let's see if I can get a quick heal done. I'm gonna try to get another uppercut stun real fast. No good. There you go. Boom. Nice. Got the full buff off of that. Hi ya. So she's been great so far. And effective. And I'm very excited for her potential in other builds as well. I gotta remember I've got the crocodilian here too. I should be trying to move a lot more often. Refill the crow's feet. Nice. And we're going to move her to here. See how that goes. Order time. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for at this point. What does the banner do? Still to be determined. I think I'll probably try it against one of the enemies in the... Uh... Oh! 
Huh. The deliverable blessed blade. I don't have whatever currency unit that is. Though worn and filthy, the sword is singular in its craftsmanship. A little care and maintenance will easily restore its luster and its cutting edge. Flapjacks! Everybody loves flapjacks. A sound investment in roads yet untraveled. I'm also going to get those two. And yeah, let's get some salves. Never a bad idea. Okay, let's see here. Another hoarder, probably not in my best interest. Hospital would certainly be nice. I think the watchtower would be good here too, just in case. Well, I guess it's not really going to matter, but rather go there than go to the hoarder anyway. Not to mention we got a more or a couple more combat, so we can get some more money there too. There was a new gold item. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, that's. I should have been aware of that. I got to be paying attention for some new stuff. All right. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Let's see how the aggressive stance treats her now. And I'm going to go with this, I think. No, it's probably a waste. I suppose I just need to do as much damage to the barrier as I can. Bariton! Bear hugs for Bariton, please. Thank you very much for the subscription. Appreciate you. Gotta get the regen going again. Might even want to do a medicinal herb here. This, these bleeds get out of hand real quick, dude. Did the Crusader just take over and kick out all the fish people? Even if he did, I don't know if anybody would be able to find fault in him, man. He seems like the infallible character in the group. Sure, yeah, he slaughtered an entire society of innocent fish people living their quaint village life. But he's my favorite! Yay, Crusader! They probably deserved it. A brilliant conclusion. Ooh, there we go. Oh, he is he is done. The bleed will do it. Thank you, Harvest. And then let's see here. We can hit the disengage on this guy. That's gonna give us our Oh no, what's the what's the one that adds the Oh, that's probably not gonna be worth it. it does add a dodge, I guess. It's gonna change to our defensive stance though. I don't know if I wanna do that. I guess I could just destroy this thing. That also allows the bounty hunter to be strengthened on the next next go, so. That's yeah, pretty good. Nah, no lord. Just, just yet. I haven't run into the hero shrines yet. No luck there. And see ya. And Gecko State. Give him a few more bear hugs, please. Thank you guys for the subscriptions. Appreciate it. Oh, come on in. I have a worth a torch there. That's all right. How much bleed does the duelist have? Zero. So pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Ain't got none no mo. Hit it. Oh, I was I was just thinking, who do we need to use in the hospital? I I made a mental note. It was the flagellant. With the torn rotator cuff. I don't think anything else is really all that bad across everybody else. We're hitting that hero shrine for sure. Nice. Not too bad for the rest of the road. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. Okay, so not every road encounter is a barricade. That's that's good to see. I think I might have even already confirmed that, but oh well. Yeah, side by side shrines, unfortunate for sure, but oh good, we'll get it eventually. All that means is that I'm prolonging it for content. So that We should be celebrating that, actually. It's like, hooray, another DD2 episode, because it's making us take longer to get the lore. Hey, Brad. Loving the DLC so far. It's been, like, very tiny grievances I have with some UI stuff, but that's the only negative. Everything else has been quality of life is 
taking a positive turn. New characters, obviously exciting. Measured and steady. All looking pretty good. All right, so somehow managed to get her in the back again. Just can't seem to help myself. No heals available. Let's just finish you off. X side with the sub as well. 13 months on the pile. Bear hugs for him, please. Thank you for all the subscriptions today. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the Dave Dredge crossover. I'm definitely going to give Dave a couple more days on the stream once that hits. Is that soon? Thickens the air. Is it not? The Dave Dredge crossover content update thing? Comes out Friday. Let's go. I might have to sneak that in. Uh, probably gotta finish him that could do the job here. Nice. Nah, it's a real thing. They got a trailer and everything. Feel free to post a link if anybody wants to. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. That's what DD stands for, exactly. Yeah, Dave Dredge. You got it. Okay. Stress is getting up there. Dave the Dredger. Can we dive in, Dave the Dredger? No, we shouldn't. Have you seen what's down there? It's terrifying. Yeah, I don't need to get rid of that. Lazy eye kind of sucks. Oh, stiff knees. Good lord. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Didn't even realize you had that. Although that is going to mess with our duelist timing now, isn't it? But yeah, that's probably worth. Nothing else all that great. Good enough. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I should have checked. To see how much it would have cost to remove positive quirks. Brace up. There is danger on this path. That's stressful. We do get our first Look chapter, ahead. though. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. I don't feel like I missed anything, although I guess I did have the chance to buy that Crusader item from the Hoarder. But obviously we didn't get whatever unit of currency was required for that. Oh well. I was there to learn, not be liked. Duelist. Chapter 1. Academy Duello. Alright, lore or mission? Lore! She would wake before dawn, stretch, meditate, and portion her food with exacting care. The Academy expected discipline, but she sought to exceed it, shunning the earnest social overtures of her peers in favor of training exhaustively long into the twilight. She did not grieve this isolation. Perfection demanded sacrifice. The good student. And the boot requires the aggressive stance, knocks the target back two for two to five damage. That's terrible. All right. Das Boot, yeah. And a new skill to boot, hey yo. What's the upgrade like? That's a fair question. Where'd she go? Adds combo, knocks the target back three. Like, there's situational stuff, sure, where that could be decent. But, overall, kind of meh. Hit it. Our first encounter with death armor again here. Let's see. I think I'll pop our smoke bombs. Or try to, anyway. 
And I'll say no to another combo applicator. Yeah, fair point. Always happy to see those, right? Get on out of there. And here's one of those situations where the boot would actually be really good. So, here's me with a bunch of over easy egg on my face. The worst kind of egg to get on your face. Oops. Oh, that's unfortunate. Should be able to heal him here, though. No bleed? Ah, all right, fine. Let's just do that. Good stuff. Okay. Try again. That sucks. I'm gonna move forward here. I think I wanna go for the Consecration of Rank 2 again. She's gonna be losing that Death Armor, especially if we go with this first. Oh, come on, the Bear Optimal 2, God damn it! All right, let's see, it might be better to stun here. Oh, Uppercut's on cooldown, okay, never mind. Let's do that, yeah. That's a good decision. We're still gonna break through the death armor. She'll be dead to the bleed. And that guy, not able to do anything. Wonderful. Okay, still don't have the heal for a minute here. Let's go ahead and pull forward again. Seems weirdly effective, okay. Nice. Probably not time for Consecration anymore. I think we have reached the point where we now just go ahead and kill him. Regen's pretty smart. Yeah, this system's so much easier to understand and, and like, a lot less RNG, obviously. There were complaints about this system when it first came out, but I think that was just people averse to change. The more that I've... The more time I've had with it, the more comfortable I feel with it, and I think it's just better. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got the super regen, doesn't he? Crap. I'm gonna finish him off. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. I need for stress heals. Ralash. Welcome back. Ten months, welcome back, bear hugs, please. Thank you. We got it, baby. Finish him. Straightforward and effective. I like the duelist. Uh, I just, I don't think so. I don't think so, man. I want, I want to have fun with it, but. The loathing of bait. It's just not worth. All right, great region. Still waiting to see where the Crusaders at. A little duelist story progress, at least though. Might be good on the flagellant. Rest now. For oh yeah. A time. Could be. Ooh, hard skin Dragnarov, nice. All right. Let's see where we're going first. Every road yep. a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. That'll be the one. All right, cool. Good gear. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Hey, J Rod. Tangle for the quest. It'll probably show up again, right? I think the odds that it doesn't show up again are like very low. I'm gonna gamble on it. Yeah. Uh, let's see, need food. 
That's expensive food, though, and we don't have to feed before the sluice. I almost want to gamble on that. I'm going to, speaking of gambling. I'll get the bread, at least, since it's cheap, but... Okay, leave that for now. Let's check where the relationships are. Very close to getting some going on the duelist. Or the jester, actually. Yeah, jester with duelist and vestal here. Let's see if we can make this happen. Eagle-eyed. Does not matter. <laughs> but cool. And then you do that. Tune Hummer. Cool. Nice big buff there to the relationship. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Can we uh, do a gamble payout as well? Mods. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Very friendly. 60% relationship chance there now. Nice. Don't need that anymore. I guess I'll give you some bleed resist. No, actually, you don't want that, do you? You can have it. This might actually be pretty good on him. I'm going to try this out for a bit. That, does, or that burn resist is nice, too. Even though, again, that's not necessarily something he wants, but... I'll give it a shot. Go for the... Glimmers on the duelist here. And let's check Experience, in on mastery again. However painful... Is the greatest teacher of all. Execution seems like it might be worth it. I think I'll take that. And acid rain? Yeah. That's a good choice. Endure is also really good. I think I need to I think I need to start taking this a little earlier. Upgraded endure is fantastic. That might even open up a slot here. I could be encoring. I should be encoring. I think I should be encoring. Let's do that. Because I didn't use that stress heal a single time. Which is, of course, immediately what I... Or what I say immediately prior to desperately needing it. Okay. One last check here. I think... I want to get these. A bit of comfort. On the road to damnation. I could also use those immediately between Duelist and Jester. I like that idea. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, we have playing cards, too. That did, unfortunately, bring us down to very er to just friendly here, but we can fix it. Oh, we need these two to get better as well. There we go. Okay, now we can do this. And then this. That's really good. 60 and 65%. All right, I like it. We have three bread, but I, I, don't, I don't think I need to feed them. We'll just hit the sluice this way. Hell yeah. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Touche will add a strength token to the Jester. That is phenomenal. Aspiration unites the hopeful. An encore is a stress heal. Nice. Great roll. Do you need to equip the flag? That's not a bad point. Maybe I do need to equip the flag. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. Yeah, that might that might even be what's required to progress. That's yeah, that's an interesting consideration. We'll keep it equipped, and hopefully that's going to lead to something here. New character's name? It's the Duelist. I think her name was like Sahar or something like that. I didn't... I don't actually remember what, it, what the default one was. Yeah, let's do that. It is Sahar. Okay, cool. Skeever! Thanks for letting us finally utilize those tokens. Um, so we can ignore dodge with something, can't we? 
That's Flick. Okay, so that's not going to matter here. I'm pretty sure that's just another touche start, especially given the strength buff it's going to give it to the Jester now. So let's do that. Definitely start with a Harvest here as well. Ooh, Consecration of Light rank 2? Yes. For an additional strength and possibly a crit. What's her general play style? It's all about dancing, which I am very happy to see. She's all about moving around and knocking back and pulling forward enemies. And her big new thing is the stances. She has an aggressive stance and a defensive stance, which are changed via her skills, such as faint, which inverts the stance preparation. Uh, turns on her aggressive stance. And there's other things modified by that as well. It's, it's a very... Um, it's, it's a play style that requires a lot of thought. You, you've got to make sure that you're aware of all of the possible effects that will come as a result of the skill you select. I still see a Watcher from Slave Aspire. That was definitely the thing that came to mind for me first, too. Ow! Oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah, this is the kind of thing I was worried about when I decided not to feed him. Victory supposes strategy. Go ahead and get rid of you real quick. It does allow for her to get some strength tokens here as well. Say goodbye. Gonna need a heal back there. Can't ignore the stealth. Preparation, I guess. Love having something like that to do whenever she's gonna be ineffective. Otherwise, that's a really nice skill. Oh, that's rough. I can't at least move the flagellant forward prior to her turn. Oh boy, what the fuck? That's not good. Fellowship forged through toil. Oh, I couldn't move her or move him forward either, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that, I suppose. Somehow got a pip out of it. Cool, okay, and then we can do this. Which seems wise. Save his ass. I'll do my best, Uranium. Yeah, I'm on, on the move. No more blight there. Nice. Um, I think we go ahead and faint. Give us a couple of reposts. Gonna send that defensive stance. Oh, she's got a chance to gain a dodge token on repose too. That's pretty neat. I'd really like it if they stopped doing that. You just stop pulling her forward, please. That'd be swell. Ah, damn, dude. No DOT, at least, but... Still terrifying. All right, they're both dead. You're going to be able to pass turn heal here if I want, but I don't know if that's worth the stress, actually. Especially because I took off the stress heal move. Yay! Oh, joy. Uh, well, I might as well use a glimmer there, too, I suppose, huh? And then I'm just wondering... Yeah, that's the play. I feel so silly for getting rid of that stress heal now. A petty hindrance. No heals available there. We we'll just go ahead and do that. We will endure at least. It's better than nothing. And goodbye. A and methodical appliance of harm. Okay. This officially has me on edge for the remainder of the sluice. The loathing abates. Let me go ahead and give that damage to you and also reduce the Jester's speed so we can rely on the Duelist having first action a little more frequently. Let me out of this blasted couch! That's, n that's not nice to Veronica. She's doing her best out here. It's not her fault. Oh, we have salves too, don't we? That's right, I really need to equip those. Let's give those to you, and then you need this serrated item again. That's right, yeah, we can't... Can't just be getting rid of those crow's feet, man. Forgot about that.
That'll work. Good old DD2 where you don't really need stress healing until you really need stress healing. <laughs> well put. Ooh, yeah. No, I think at this point I'm, I'm still happy with Encore. I was just... I was just amazed at how quickly that prophecy came to fruition. All right, Acid Rain looking pretty solid here. I like a Smoke Bomb here too, actually. Yeah, ooh, that's nice. Mistimed, misdirected. That is very good. I love a Harvest here as well. And the Regen. She's kind of squishy, right? Not really. She's got a decent amount of hit points. I put her in like the mid range. Big heal. Just kidding. Just over the threshold. Shit. I really should be doing more consecration too. Lethality writ large. That would help us out a lot here. She's gonna salve herself. Salve's heal for a flat 12 now, by the way. That's been changed. For those wondering. On to the next. Same uh, or same for all of the healing items, I believe. They all now heal for a flat amount instead of a percentage value. Um, let's go with this for the endure. I do have an epic creator code, yeah, Bear Taffy. Thank you for using it. Miss it. Whoopsie. Right, except Stitching Kit, the end item still heals percentage value. Also heals much more. Heals for 50% instead of 20% now. Yeah, I should be doing Consecrations here. And Deathless, is that necessary? Probably not. Malaise. Measured and steady. I'm beginning to feel like the regen dark impulse on the flagellant is also not fantastic. Bravo. I thought for some reason that the fact that it was bringing his overall HP down was going to be beneficial, but no, having regen on him doesn't really make a ton of sense. So I, I might go ahead and take that off again overcome even the greatest of threats another endure nice and then whatever oh i had to heal there i'm a genius my my smartness knows no bounds kind of unkillable with the regen i mean that is nice at least huh you're not wrong But I, I like living dangerously with him when I when I can. She's ambidextrous. Oh, really? In this weighty gloom. That's cool. A spark. Befitting of a uh, master swordsman slash duelist. The loathing whispers. Doesn't the duelist have a chance to heal off or post in the defensive stance? I think the... I think that that is a dodge. I'm pretty sure when she's in defensive stance, she has a chance to add a dodge token off her post. Our torch dazzles them. She's unlocked by default, actually. When you buy the DLC, she's already unlocked, but you can spend candles to get upgrades for her and like unlock her new paths and all that stuff. The flagellant no longer wishes to be unkillable. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change it, I think. Probably after this fight. Alright, instant strength token for him yet again here. I'm thinking I might just go ahead and finale right away on this one. Collaboration confers advantage. Let's try to get as close as we can to just taking this guy out of commission. Works for me. Might actually be going toxic in this fight too. Measure out your violence 
and apply it judiciously. What's the boy up front? Oh, he's a patient. He's just sick. Why are you being mean? Hmm. The faint here for the repost? That's pretty good. Hey, true. Very good. Time for regen, I think, now. Ideal. Time for toxic. Yeah, his relationship's not in great shape here, but probably worth it. Get a little acid rain in there too while we're at it. Get his regen going again. That blight is not quite sufficient. Let's see. Ignores block when aggressive. Not aggressive this time. Okay. Um. I still think we just do that. Oh, but that's gonna be the move back on her. That's right, of course. Empowered. Emboldened. Which did conveniently get rid of that weaken, but not really going to matter all that much anyway. All right, so she's still on bare optimal, but dead to that. A petty hindrance. That'll do. Ow. And hi yeah. I suppose I do kind of like the fact that the regen essentially negates his HP cost for attacks, but again, it's usually just better for him to be in a uh, weakened state anyway. That was a lot of interactions. Oh, and then of course worth considering the uh, skills like Exsanguinate. Wherever the hell that ended up. Or uh, what's it called? Isn't it? What was the skill he had? Oh, I'm confused. Ah, never mind. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. See you. That'll do it. Bye bye. The Chirurgeon. Wondering where you got those leeches? There you go. Can't decide. I'm torn on it, man. It's a tough call. Oh, that's nice. Excellent wow. Work. Oh boy, if we could just go ahead and take out his squad before he's able to get all this ridiculous healing going on, which he's already gotten started on here. That'd be sick. Woo damn. This is a mini boss, yeah. Owie. Okay. I think we have Deathless up. A little scary. Minus two, though. Come on, man. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. The fiend's strength dwindles. Fell, right? Yeah. Say goodbye to you. Bleed will do it. An interminable conflict. Assuming he doesn't heal him? Nice. Petition for a DD2 mod where Britney Spears' Toxic plays in the background when the flagellant has a stress break. Or at least just like in the moment of the revelation of Toxic. Just like a, a, a sting. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm into that. Perhaps they have given their last. Now don't murder him. Thank you. Measure out your violence and apply it. Thank you. Oh God. Um. Here we go. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. Man, I wanted to eat. I'm beginning to think I should have had some food. Okay, okay. 
Be kind to a poor, poor, senseless bear, please. He knows not what he does. Good stuff. He's gonna be hitting me with the deathless here, I think. Fellowship forged through toil. That? Wait, what? The sum total of violent equation. Unfavorably rounded down. I can no longer check the skill that I thought that I understood. But doesn't Deathless heal them both? That was that was a slow suffering. What begins. I was under the impression of. Must be the path. Must be the path. Well, shit. My bad. Oh well. All for the content, right? Just means a new pick me. Someone else gets to join the party. Once again. Ooh, yeah. Terrible oh no. Oh. That's got bad. Oh, he's gonna take a turn. He might die too. Well. Clearly didn't need to feed him prior to this prior to this sluice encounter. That would have just been a waste of food. Why do that? Okay, go ahead and move back, I guess. That does at least give us some more damage. Well done. We're at plus 30% for God's sake. You'd think we were doing pretty good. Two new pick me's. Ah, ah, ah. No, just stop. Be gone with ye. I know what it was, Barry. You forgot to turn on your voice activated effects. That's right. Soaks this tainted soil. It has been a little while. You for, forgive me for my forgetfulness. Well, shit. Well, shit. The loathing abates. This is gonna be tough. Mm hmm. I left for five minutes, and what do we say? It's your fault. You did this. Not me. Hmm. All right. Well, this sucks. Guess we're swapping to some front rank skills. Not able to use that anymore, likely. Let's go die. And hopefully find something slightly easier there this are way. Rumors these rancorous beasts have some demonic spark of otherworldly intelligence. I feel like that's it may be equally to blame and to all the yeah. I just showed up, it might be my Take fault. Up these goods and imbue them with purpose. Let's just say it's everybody's fault but mine. I feel like that's fair. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Ugh. Death cap spores are really good now. I'm going to keep those. I'm not going to use the spoken sharply anymore. We can probably get rid of the dark impulse. Don't need the pouch of lie. Fishmonger's gloves. No thanks. Too many smoke bombs. I guess I don't need the bread anymore, do I? Yeah, I got the pancakes now. Yep, there go the wheels. Mind your wheels. They have nothing left to give. I'm really hoping we can sneak out of here, though. Ooh, that's promising. Loathsome thing. What? 
Okay. Onward, while there is still time. Okay, say so just uh, just don't get anything that time. Yeah, she got a negative quirk out of that. That's it. She got a negative quirk as a result of being b b like the the positive quirk bonus. Yay. All right, let's see who's new. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. Even more perhaps Ooh. for the restless soul. Oh, Sid, you got the jinx. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. All right, we get to choose who we get now, don't we? That's right. That's fun. All right. Who's it going to be? I guess I could just click the random button too, couldn't I? Yeah. But now we got to pick people who will fit decently well. I feel like we probably need the man at arms back. Despite his nerf. Then, yeah, Grave Robber could be fun. Certainly complements the movement necessary. Works for me. Pick me still open if you'd like to be chosen. I'm going to go ahead and actually, let's go ahead and get a fresh one going just in case. P-I-C-K-M-E in the chat. If you've already entered before, go ahead and enter again. Just want to make sure that we're uh, choosing folks that are here now. And let's see where we're going. Consider your position. There it is. And plan accordingly. Ooh, double hazardous routes, though. That sucks. But I did want to see what's Modern going on in the tangle here. Resignation and death. This land is truly barren. Fix up those wheels. We got the flapjacks, so we don't need to buy any more food here. Get these songbooks, the whiskey. That's pretty good. Thunderclap grenades would be nice, too. All right, I like that. Oh, yeah, spiked skullcap as well. Not going to be a lot of bleeding for us, though, but I suppose this would be pretty good for the... Um, Man at arms, no matter what. And you can have this one too. You still have that banner you got? Yeah, it's on the Vestal. Still rocking that, thankfully. Good stuff. Last call for the pick me if you'd like to be chosen. Let's find out who our two new characters are going to be. And also, where they're going to be. I think. It's going to be two and three. I think Man at Arms in second position, meaning Rampart's pretty good. Crush is good. Hold the line, not super necessary. Actually, hold the line's really good, too. Yeah, we'll do that. Right? No, no. Let's do Retribution and then Bolster. And Bellow? Sure. Maybe Strategic Withdrawal, actually. Yeah, let's, go. let's really invest in the movement. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Steady as well, which isn't great, but the resolute chance is nice, I guess. And then our grave robber, definitely going to be moving around a lot here. Let's go with the lunge and the pirouette. And dead of night. Nice. There we go. Bellow for Tangle is solid. That's true. That's definitely a good option to have in there, especially if we go up against the, uh, the general. We might have to consider swapping that out. Electric Baboon. Hold on, I can do it. There we go. Who needs vowels? And Blazing Wolf. I don't believe I can. Ch oh, wait, no, I could change the hero paths, but it would cost a lot of money. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. We could change these guys. Like, I could change this, but it would cost 32 relics, which might actually be worth it now that I'm th thinking about it. One of the unique situations in which I consider that. Welcome into the pile, or welcome into the team, I should say, Blazin. You know, welcome into the pile, too. F it. I said it out loud. I gotta st I gotta be a man of my word. A bear of my word. There you go. Enjoy your gift sub. Mastery time. One learns quickly when survival demands it. Definitely into upgrading bolster here. God damn, retribution got nerfed. 
There's only a one turn cooldown on upgrade, but even that doesn't really seem all that worthwhile. I like pirouette and lunge. Well, maybe not lunge. Let's do the poison dart for the extra blight. Dead of night for the stress heal and the additional stealth. This engage upgrade is pretty good. Let's go with that. Welcome back. Maybe that'll incentivize me to try to use that a little bit more. Holian! Bunch of bear hugs for him, please. Thank you very much for the 70 months. Long-term subscription. Welcome back. Thank you. And then I'm thinking we maybe want to go ahead and just try to boost the relationships on the new people right away so we can... Well, then again, I don't know. Maybe just have one good one. This is a really good chance to get a negative relationship, though. That's not great. I think we should probably try to work on that, yeah. Let's start with Grave Robber Duelist. And then let's go with Grave Robber Man at Arms. That went well, nice. And then Grave Robber Vestal. That's bad. Hmm. Do I have uh, any other stuff in here that could help us out? Doesn't look like it. I might want to save the flasks. But I feel like I should probably try to get rid of, like, very unfriendly on anybody. But it looks like we're okay. Do we have trinkets for the newbies? No, we don't have any relic, or we don't have any baubles either, unfortunately. Yeah, no. No help. They are well fed, at least. And a lot of combat items, too. Speaking of which... Where's the serrated thing? Where'd the serrated glove go? Did I get rid of it? I must have. I don't remember getting rid of it. Um. Now let's do thunderclap grenades here and then. I think we'll go with the caltrips on you. Actually, let's give you the glimmers. Keep that torch light up. Are we trying the banner in the tangle? I think so. I think I'll probably. The most logical thing to do with it, in my mind, is, well, actually, it sounds like I should use it on a bishop. I was going to say I should probably use it on the boss, on the general, right? But it literally says bishops. Maybe if I find a bishop unit, I should use it. it seems wise to me. All right, here we go. That's not good. Each covets what the other has and plots to take it. Oh, fuck. Touche is going to add stress. Cruelty and callousness have claimed dominion here. That's bad. We're trying to find that out, actually, Primark. War. Rewards only. Resignation. Gotta head to a hero shrine for sure. Thankfully, the uh, general fight is near the end here as well. Also accessible from the left, so that's good news. Hospital is not super high priority, but I'm not opposed to it either. Still trying to look out and see if maybe there's some sort of unique interaction. The loathing festers. But I'm beginning to believe that it just is the banner. I think we got to do something with the banner. As a chirurgeon's table too. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be going for that again though. There's our flapjacks. Nice. Desperate and wanting. Will you rip off their earnest pleas? I think I should take the scout just in case this reveals something about the crusader and or another hero shrine up ahead and there it is all right then oh yep thank you that's a good call sir these character positions are all skawampus there we go
I still love that, like, suffocating effect of the tangle. Well, here's a bishop. I think I'm going to do it, man. That just... It says bishops. You know? It just seems logical. And to me! Thank you for the 15 months! Bear hugs, please, for him. Welcome on back into the pile. Appreciate it. Alright, so we gotta avoid using Rampart wherever we can. He's the only target. Well, there we go. Unique reliquary acquired. Okay. Right on. Progress made. Let's see. Do not currently have a stance. We're trying to avoid touche if we can, so I'm trying to change this up a little bit. I guess I can't invert my stance if I don't actually have one. Oh, that did buff him, didn't it? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that sucks. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. We should probably kill him. He's also elite. This is this is great. This this is really good. Mm hmm. I think it's disengage time. I guess. A breakthrough. You reminded that bishop that he's a badass. Apparently. Oh boy. I do like Thunderclap here. I like it a lot more now. Good stuff. We will faint. To break the armor there, bleed will kill. Adds to repost. That's pretty good. Still have a consecration here. And crush. Yeah, that's good enough. Damage reduced, but he can still hit with the best of them. And moves himself to the front. Okay. Did he add death armor from that? Huh. Oh, why did I? No. Don't move back. I got to pay attention to that stuff. Oh, I guess I do have the front rank skills equipped for her still. That kind of might work, actually. I might keep this this way. Bravo! Because that is some serious additional damage, on top of the fact that, of course, any movement that she does is going to boost her damage further. Ah, shit! God damn you. Uh, this is where you want to have upgraded strategic as well. I guess that's a pass turn, yeah. That's probably a lunge. Thunderclap again. Another stun. That's huge. Yeah, maybe keep one front line, one back line. I think that's a good call. I think that's a very good idea. Thank goodness. Okay. That shouldn't be too bad. Can bolster here for at least the block plus. Do, 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 do. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. I guess we can do preparation here. Yeah, it's not terrible. No, especially at the end of a turn, actually. The preparation's really good. I'm gonna keep that in mind. She has a dodge plus here, so this feels like a decent opportunity to do that. Cool. There we go. Bolsters on cooldown. Let's Retribution. Right on. Hmm. Yeah. Try to keep the damage off her where we can, and then no heals available here. Just gonna have to move, I guess. 
works for me. Another block cleared, another bleed off that as well. Nice, and then still reposting. I think this is still the play. Malaise, measured and steady. Yeah. Bolt fast. Oof. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Yeah, we got our bolster bag still now. Okay, yeah, I clearly need to get another back rank skill on her. Owie. That's too much. Do less damage next time. Man, okay, give me one more region, maybe? It's been a long ass fight. It might be back up. He does add death armor, dude. This guy. What the hell? All right, we do have divine grace back. A little help, impeccably timed. And that's definitely worth it there. Okay. He's got touche again. Oh boy. Can't bolster here. I guess we just do that. One less obstacle in our path. Flagellant has competition in the not dying club. This is uh This is making this guy a lot more concerning all of a sudden, that's for damn sure, dude. She might bleed down to the point where absinthe is available here. Nice. Alright, and then you just gotta go ahead and take a take a lick, my friend. Or dodge it, yeah. It works for me. Well, that was hard. Greater threats await those who dare. There we go. Unique reliquary. A of religious valuables. The crusade passed through these parts. Each of the 100 crusaders were entrusted with a specific reliquary. Inscribed with sacred text, they contained essential icons and artifacts of faith. This lock is rusted tight and requires tools to open. Interesting. Oh, cool. I got a hero goal. I should be paying attention to those as well. I didn't even think about it. Which is going to be... Where's their hero goals again? There it is. Use thrown dagger twice in a single fight. I can do that. Killing blow on gaunt. Killing blow on cosmic beings. Okay. So we're going to swap this skill here. And then we're going to go ahead and swap the vestals. So that we have judgment again. Yeah, I'm guessing we're probably going to have to find those either in like a hoarder or maybe we can unlock these at an inn. I'm going to keep an eye out for the tools that we need to buy, though. Maybe from a study. Yeah, that's possible, I guess. All right. Yeah, candles are a priority again, which is really fun, too. I like that. All right. I'm guessing we're probably going to run into our first duelist hero mission here. Chapter two. After hours. Oh, it does say deliverable, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. So that. That most likely means it's an in thing. Beneath her doublet, a swelling desire to go beyond her instructor's expectations. Aha. Uh -huh. To earn his respect. And perhaps his attention. Damage the training dummy three times. I feel like I could probably handle that. Gotta watch my footwork. Cannot be harmed by skills in defensive stance. Okay, so I need to invert. Haha. -ha. Did he just face palm? I did my best. There we okay. Um, oh yes, we figured it out. I see. Okay. Oh, this ignores those two things. Great. Yeah, give him a flick. Good. Uh-huh, indeed. Wait, what? Oh, ignores those two things. Wait, I was... Okay, so... Okay, I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Oh, removes that win in defensive. Okay, got it. My bad. My bad. Misread it. I'm, I'm gonna fix it. Relax. No, I'm not. Don't say that. 
I'll do better. Okay, I am in aggressive. I have to be in defensive. So I've got to invert my stance, flick him. Is that going to work? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. This is actually a puzzle now, isn't it? Him screaming mediocre at me is pretty great. I want a waner. I, I need I need to record a waner of him screaming mediocre. And I'm sure there's got to be utility for that. All right. I feel like I'm probably overthinking this. Uh-oh. My chat's dying, and that makes me terrified that my stream's dying. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Let's see. I need to... We clearly need to play Flick, since that's the only thing that removes that condition, right? But in order to do that, I have to be in defensive stance. The only way to get to defensive stance is to play either disengage or faint. So I'll do that. Disengage. I'm in defensive stance. Flick removes this. And now... I'm in defensive, so I need to invert. And then I, fl and then I flashe. There. I did it. I did it. Hooray. That was cool. All right. Nimble and sure-footed, her flawless form drew his notice. That's weird. Remove stance tokens. Clear skill cooldowns on target. Oh, I can use that on my allies. I see. Okay, cool. Requires the aggressive stance. Also removes her stance tokens. I wonder what the upgraded version of that looks like. That's kind of neat. Yeah, we can have two Encores in the same team, huh? Oh, it's only a 50% chance to remove this stance. Doesn't get a lot better. That's a unique ability. All right, cool. I totally forgot she has the Jinx as well. And I know it's not exactly Encore, it's similar to Encore. Encore's still better, but that's neat. Actually, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, it is just kind of slightly worse Encore, isn't it? Not even slightly, it's, it's significantly worse Encore. Eh, it's probably got utility. Joints ache and muscles burn. The body requires attention. Yet again, not feeling super compelled to uh, get rid of anything here. I guess lazy eye. Even the worst habits can be overcome. And nothing in the hospital to use on this thing, apparently. So, moving on. Imagine how much magnesium rain you could do with both of those skills. Yeah, that's true. That would be a lot of fun. Oh, our loathing is fricked, isn't it? Yep. That sucks. I didn't even realize. Ooh, Shambler Altar. Fun. That doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, that's true. Magrain has a use limit. Yeah, so that would be a little worse, I guess. What would be, like, the ultimate use case? Or does it? Yeah, no, no, it doesn't, does it? Does Macrine have a use limit? God, it's been too long, man. I can't remember all these specifics. <laughs> you can't, I guess, technically just use that to reset Encore, too, couldn't you? Yeah, that's maybe one of the best uses for it. Very true. Oh, ow, I didn't need to do that. I thought that was the, uh... thought we were missing the armor for some reason. All right. Negative pip for everybody. 
Oh, yeah, for regen as well, right? The Divine Comfort reset. Actually kind of worth considering here. Especially because I'm not really doing pre preparation all that much. That's not a bad idea. And then, of course, the uh, Consecrations could get reset as well. Lost and desperate. They need your help. Not a bad idea. When the cult came, no orders were shouted. No swords were drawn. There was only stupefying horror. And the catatonic lethargy that follows it. Definitely do not need food. Let's see what kind of combat items they got. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Yeah, we did met some. We got Veronica today. Shambly time! Ruts in the roadway. There is a barricade ahead. Time to die! Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. Let's do it! Infectious. The newest mutant! Welcome back, Bear Hugs, please. Thanks for the subscription. Appreciate you. A few months ago, something happened on Twitch, dude. But deadly all the same. I don't know what it is where the Moobot always picks up on the subs. Moobot doesn't miss a single one. But for some reason, Twitch itself isn't recognizing them. I have no idea what's going on with it, but it's very frustrating. But no, I appreciate the subscriptions all the same, and thank you for the support. Or it gets, like, Welcome delayed back. like that, too. Yeah, it's really strange. Anyway, Pious Devil, thank you for the Prime as well. Bear, or brand new member of the Bear Pile. Give him some, love him some bear hugs, please. Appreciate you. Oh, this is out of Dodge Plus, right? Yeah, we gotta start doing that kind of thing. And Biotic Fusion. Speaking of subs, my goodness. Thank you, everybody. Moobot's showing up Twitch. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the bear hugs for him, too. Welcome on in. Measured and steady. That's a consecration, because we're trying to get to the reset point, right? Yeah. This will be... Let's do the throne dagger. Let's actually get that hero goal knocked out so we can go back to the poison dart. So that is definitely still superior. Yeah, boom. And yeah, he is just dealing way less damage now. Very noticeable so far. That works. Disengage one more time. We got the uh, defensive stance going here. Let's do this again. I do kind of want to uh, welcome their attacks on her, given that we've got the jinx now as well. Oh, I don't have the... I don't have the freaking... Regen heal equipped. That's why I was missing it. Because it's not equipped. God damn it. That probably doesn't matter too much, having the vulnerable on her. Oh, is that it? Use? That might actually be it. Yeah, that's, that is exactly the case, isn't it? Okay, you've solved this dilemma for me. Thank you, because I've been very confused about it for a while. It's just the delay for when people are typing their subscription message. Got it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm predicting the future on you via Moobot. Thank you for clearing that up. I've been so confused. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. I'm glad it's not broken then. All right, let's go with... Give me the glimmers again. Yeah, we got the second dagger throw, right? Yep. Good to go there. And then we need to actually uh, in, or, uh, equip our friggin' regen heal here, which I guess I'm going to get rid of Hand of Light for that. I think I'm going to keep Hand of Light. I don't think Consecration of Fortitude's necessary. 
despite being the Seraph. Especially with this again situation. I don't know. I feel like this will be best for us. The inscription reads, The sacrifice of hope opens the gate to ruin. We are going to equip. Offer of yourself if you crave the void. That's new. I just realized that's a new waner. I think it's probably unique to the Shambler's Altar. I love that, dude. I think death cap spores are an excellent idea here. I think we should go probably with like a pyrotechnic dazzler. That's probably not too bad. Same for him. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. That sounds promising and not at all dangerous. Yeah, no, I'm sure we'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. The chip of it would make a fine pommel. Cosmic Slayer's convenient. All right, let's do it. We tread beyond the realms of reason. See if I can get some blight on early. No luck, okay? We're gonna have to touche. It's gonna be a lot of stress. Might as well just expect that. I like this. No luck. Here we go. And now you can thankfully... Well, here, let's just do this. Yeah. Since there's no reason to wait on that anymore, I might as well just go ahead and do it now. And I think Consecration is going to be our best play here. Let's go for that spot. We'll be able to pirouette strength in the beginning of next round. Got to dodge. Okay. Unfortunate. That ought to be pretty good, though. I'll take that. Now, we probably want to do flick. Or, sorry, not flick. We want to do faint, right? Yeah. To get the reposts up on her as well, so that we're reposting on basically every shambler attack. You got bled from the spike cap. That's really good. We absolutely need to move the Vestal back to the third rank so she can get the regen going. There we go. Blind on him is nice. Goodbye, Tentacle. Hello, regen. Oh, let's do this first. No luck on the Blight resistance. That's fine, though. Both death armors removed. That's really, really good. I like a bolster here. Block plus four stress healed. I could pretty happily handle light. Gets through a block token on the tentacle as well. And now I'm feeling like we probably need to find a way to move forward. Or maybe not. Well, if I just do a touche, that's probably fine. This will move me back, though. And I don't love that. Eh, I think it's still best. I gotta get some more damage out there. Steady yourself. And then we'll reset the repose next round. That's looking like a lunge. Sadly getting through a block plus, but that's a nice way to do it. Ah, oh, the flame vulnerable. Damn, that was really inconvenient. Pirouette's down as well. I think I should add some dodge. Speed token's nice too, and then maybe he'll do his retreat. Ooh. That was lucky. That was a death door check. Sheesh. Yeah, excited for that for sure, Hellboy. We're definitely going to play that crossover DLC at the end of the week here. Hmm. Same to you, Nexus. Cannot bolster again yet. I think the Retribution's decent play. I don't know about a meltdown, though. Crush would heal. That's a little bit better, yeah. That's a lot of damage. And a burn? No burn. Miss it. That's a nasty shuffle, but that does at least boost our damage a little bit. 
thought you were helpful, not hateful. Ah, crap. Ooh, good miss there, though. Okay. Jinx is helping a lot. That's looking like a hand of light again, I think. Bolster, please. Thank you. A small reprieve from this carousel of horrors. Love you. Have a good day. Faint time. This is going pretty good. Got the bleed there as well, so two more damage and he's toast. That'll do it. All right, the tentacle's obviously the big concern now. Let's see. She should be able to, ooh, hey, look at that, nice. That was for, yeah, the repost and the aggressive stance, chance to heal self, that was brilliant. Good stuff, duelist. Okay, and now, let's see here. I suppose we could just go ahead and faint again. Yeah, that's fine. Goodbye, Shambler. And then we need to get the hell out of here again. Maybe Rampart into a regen or something. And now, yeah, I was a little worried about that. Of all. He is going to be first action as well, unfortunately. He might just be dead. Through adversity, He's probably dead. The heart wow. That was lucky. Okay. Very, very fortunate there. Um, regen. I think I ought to do this just to be safe. And then let's see here. Disengage is pretty good. Except that still does prevent the regen, doesn't it? Yeah, god damn it. What am I doing? This might be the play, actually. Uh, no, let's kill this one. One less obstacle in our path. Be nice. Thank you. Why'd you invoke a shambler fight? Because I could. It gave me the opportunity. The enemy weakens and wanes. I don't understand the question. See you. The work continues. He's done it. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. That's that's a that's a weird one. Eyes of the Void. Ethereal Dust as well for some more skill cooldown clearing. Okay. I think I'll just do it for fun. Just in case. And then we'll go for the uh, turn start strength on her. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Yeah, I got some mastery points out of it too, which is pretty nice. Salve, incendiary cocktail. You can have those. Hooray! Now, hopefully, we just don't die in the next fight. Which is one of the more lethal parts of the Shambler encounter. Is having to continue on afterward. Now, I'm certainly not feeling comfortable about a general fight at this point, as you might imagine. Who will face the half-remembered horrors of their past? But I also wonder if possibly we have to go after the general for the Crusader. Insatiable. Is this the Vestal's path? Under more direct tutelage, she blossomed. A formidable fighter, fastidious in the extreme and possessed of a ruthless single-mindedness. It was this absence of fear that gave her an uncanny edge. Between instructor and pupil, the intimacy of martial respect boiled over into a simmering entanglement. And soon, long hours of drills regularly culminated in amorous clashes, as fierce as any rencontre. Rencontre. 
Oh, snap. Fleche. Ah, the self-forward skill. Yes. That's what we needed. Adds the aggressive stance as well. Yes, sir. That's good. Okay. We're going to swap off again immediately for that. Because that is clearly the thing we need. Cool. How much, how much money do we have? The hoarder would be pretty nice here. I really think I might need to go general. Brace up. There's danger on this path. Simply for the crusader thing. Although I can't honestly explain why I feel that way. I might have that confused with feeling as though it were possible that the general was the one we had to use the item on. I'm like pretty sure. Tidings. No doubt the source is within. But this being a deliverable, I'm fairly certain that we're going to need to get to the inn with it. It's also possible, I suppose, that the general might provide a reward that can unlock it. I don't know. At any rate, we're definitely going to equip some combat items that are going to allow us to interact with the back line here. So we go with some smoke bombs and incendiary cocktail, I guess, is fine. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I'm going to swap to Bellow here as well. I think that the um, duelist can hit the back rank somehow, right? Can she not? She might not be able to. That would be a problem. I guess she can be entirely focused on the um, on the general damage. This team doesn't seem fantastic for this, though. But it should work. It should be okay. We have at least three of four able to hit the back rank, and then we've got the combat items for it as well. Stress healing, too. It's risky, man. I don't know. I think I'm going to do it for the content, baby. Hey, if I die, that means we get another run. Within every keep, a general and his loyal lumbering guard. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. I think I'm going to start with a disengage here. Get a little defensive stance going. Oh, I can't use this if I'm not in the, uh... Oh, I can. It's just that it has a lot more damage in the aggressive stance. Okay, understood. You can get the buff Footman's Grog. True! Yeah, it could happen. Boink. Miss it. hey -o. I'm just going to poison dart the back line. Well done. I like killing this dude. And all right, let's try our new skill, shall we? Instantly goes to the aggressive stance, of course, adding a little bit more damage from the crocodilian there as well. Need to heal my boy. Need to upgrade strategic withdrawal after this one, too. And once we swap Bello back out. I'm very impressed with the duelist so far. Yeah, it's been a very good character, and I'm looking forward to the fully upgraded version of it, too. I think it's going to be a, a top-tier player for the, for the future for us here. That was sick. A simple variable. Easily resolved. Love it. Speaking of her being really good. Bring some needed backline damage. Yeah, the fact that she can hit with so many of her skills from the third and fourth rank is really a big difference maker for her. Um, is this worth it for the stress heal on her if we add it to Kenny? Kenny might resist it, I guess. 
Kenny does have the stress resistance trinket too, right? Yeah, okay, so that's kind of good. It's probably worth it. Oh, Sid, though. Eh, might resist it too. Alright. You get the damage buff anyway, at least. Bye bye. Oh, uh, the giveaway's for a Steam Key nail. All I have is Steam Keys. We'll be given, uh... I was gonna say one of those away at the end of this run, but I think actually I might just give the remaining four that I've got away at the end of the run. Just make sure if you haven't already, Deus Volt in chat. Enter into the giveaway. Bellow time. Any being, however horrid, can be brought to heal. Thank you for the bleed. Get our regen going again. Man, touche. Having the negative relationship on that was a real, real big nerf to this squad. The further along we go here, the more I'm realizing that. Hey, Tofu. Okay, can no longer do that skill. Disengage is decent. I was going to say, that's probably a meltdown. All right, come on. He's got the resolute bonus. Didn't matter. Oh, God. That's, that's down there now, isn't it? Oh, boy. That's pretty bad. Thankfully, he didn't give a damn about the taunt, apparently. So... Just do this, I guess. Jeez, his damage is just pitiful now. Powerful wake. This road cannot be walked alone. This team is giving me some trouble. Yeah, yeah. Here, what? All right, one pip at least. Not everybody hates him. But he is getting the wrath from the enemy, that's for damn sure. God damn, man. All right, we got to at least get one. That's this one, right? Yeah. So that works. Oh, why does she not have... I could have sworn I had the thing... Oh, I unequipped it for the fight. I was going to say I had her cooldown reduction thing equipped, but not anymore. Crap. All right, so he's dead at least. I guess judgment is best. Yeah. Needs something. A steady subtraction he's going to regen to one. Result. I guess Bellow's pretty good to at least give us a chance to act before them. Crush is really not going to do anything. Smoke bomb's arguably worth it here, too. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Coming. You may outwit them Come yet. on, man. I guess I should have blinded him, really. I do have another regen, but he's already on death's door, and I've got to avoid this guy's focus fire or whatever. Which probably ain't going to happen. Oh, no. Come on, dude. The siren song of the void. Ugh. Spurned for now. I still can't even heal him. Sheesh. Should be able to kill this guy prior to. Wow. <laughs> God damn it. Um. I think this might be worth it here. Cause that's at least. Well, hold on. Oh yeah, flick is fine. Oh, execution, yes. There we go. Regenning there. Okay, back to one. Holy cow. 
Bolster. There we go. The block plus, at least, is probably pretty significant. And then... Poison dart, lunge. Poison dart combo hit? Or a corpse clear to bring them closer. I don't know if that's really going to matter all that much, though. Also worth considering this guy might bring his teammates back. Could you stop? Jeez. Come on. Okay, he is basically dead, but let's make freaking sure of it, huh? Mission accomplished. Disengage is fine here. Yeah, let's do that. And then can you crush him to death, pal? Can you do it? You sure can. Look at you go. And you even get a heal for the road. All right. Not awful. But now it's time to determine whether this is worth it. Oh, man. Yeah, they're really trying to convince me. God damn, dude. Big pig reverberating readout. Clenching claws. Sheesh. Let's try it. It's worth... He has That's a lot of good stuff. Undying into a dream. And there he must stay. And the dodge to begin with is quite nice. All right, so we don't need to worry about the back rank to begin with here. So let's try to get some blight going. Good start. I wouldn't mind smoke bombing him, but I should definitely keep those for that. Um, retribution makes sense to me here. You don't get any of it when you die. Yeah, fair point. I'm pretty sure this is going to be worth it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that's going to be a defensive stance there, though. I didn't even think about that. Let's maybe do a consecration second rank. No, I think it's first rank. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The crit to begin with is quite nice. I'm wondering if maybe I want to save that. Oh, no, yeah, the faint would do it, wouldn't it? It's going to be 16 damage. Adds a stress to the man at arms. Versus 10 to move back and then also allow the man at arms to get the buff. Add to dodge plus. That's pretty damn good. I'm pretty sure I want to keep going for the blight. I think I can do a bellow judgment here, and that seems pretty good. The blight is going to be a strong contributor here. Oh, I would love to be able to avoid a meltdown, though, so I think I will do that. Let's do this and then bolster. Now, let's wait for bolster to be slightly more effective. You may outwit them yet. It's fairly likely that we hit five on someone else. That's a judgment. This is a waste of her bonus tokens, but that's worth it. Middle two again, okay. I'm happy to do a flesh here, I think get us into the aggressive stance, which I think is going to be better for us right now. How does that clear the dodge, I wonder? Huh. Oh, remove all dodge. That's what that says. Right. I should read it. Well, maybe not worth it then, actually. I think I should do this instead. Yeah. That seems better. We poison dart again. The blight has been very good so far. That's huge. Sadly, not quite there in the bolster yet. Bellow's on cooldown. So I guess I might as well bolster anyway. I gotta remember Bellow's gonna be on cooldown too. I didn't even think about that. 
Hmm. Crow's feet judgment. No, not judgment. Divine comfort. Crow's feet divine comfort, I think. Now let's wait on divine comfort. I think I can still hold off on that. Still going blight. That has been very good so far. I feel like I could probably go for the... No, I've got the bellow back. Flesh might be best now. I think that's right. Although it's unfortunately going to make it so that neither of those trigger, but she will at least get the strength of the crit next round. This is going really well so far. The dodges have been extremely helpful. Not to mention the blight landing every time. This is no time to bolter. Eh, it's gonna have to be a bolster again, okay. Well, at least now I'll get the uh, duelist buffs here. Pretty sure we're still going for the blight. Really good. Let's see. I think a duelist smoke bomb is the play here. I'm pretty sure it's regen time. So let's do that. Oh, Bella's on cooldown. Shoot. All right. We're gambling on one of the vines here, I think. Gonna have to. This is Touche again. Which is really good. I'm very glad that it was the duelist fine. Okay, so at least she's still gonna be open next round. Got another bleed off the spike cap, too. Nice. Ah, okay, that sucks. So now we definitely do this. I could get away with doing this again, actually. Because we judgment now. Wow, yeah, that worked really well. That's probably going to be a resolve check here, though. Let's do the crow's feet and then a heal. So I can get a... Oh, well that was a waste of the crit. Why does that still do the crits? Why do the crow's feet use crit tokens? Why was that not included among the many quality of life updates we received with the latest update? I want it. Man. Well, I'll get rid of the stress, huh? Oh, he's dead. Held captive by fear. He's done. Goodbye. Ugh. That's all right. We should still be able to win here. I hope. I plead. Oh, we got the... Oh, shit! That was the five stress hit. Well, that was lucky. Okay. We're going to have to do one vine per turn, more than likely. Oh, no, never mind. We got one more smoke bomb. There we go. Luckily, the two shades no longer cursed, right? Duelist first time out and she gets to see half the roster. Yeah, we're just trying to introduce her to everybody really quick. Exactly. Given the relationships he had is probably for the best. I, I believe that is what they said about it. Yeah. The conclusion they reached as well. All right, just the one vine here and then we at least get down to death's door off of that. Breaking through the armor. There's one, there's two. One more after that, and then you know what to do. Perfect. Absolutely ideal. See you later. Not terrible. The blood of the valorous and cowardly alike soaks this tainted soil.
Big pig! Big loot. Now we just gotta live, yep. Alright, so a whole bunch of combat items here to get rid of. We also have some healing salve, at least, so that's nice. Go for this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Adrenaline tonic actually might be a better play here. Yeah, let's go with that instead. Cool. Don't need the leeches. I'm going to regret that, I'm sure. Here, let's give you readout. And then you can have the spike cap, I guess. Somebody can have the spike cap. There we go. We can do this too. Boom, boom. I don't think I need that. Time to survive. Which, there is only one more encounter, but it's not going to be an easy one. Do I have Hand of Light equipped? I do. Okay. We're good. Inventory is full. Just dump that, I guess. Oh, boy. It's making me work for it here in our first run back, man. I think I can just throw myself back into the deep end. No siree. Ain't that easy, bear. Big boy ain't ordained, though, so that's pretty good. Oh, that's good to know, Snave. And I paid a lot of money for that redirect, so I'm glad it's functioning correctly. I want to put her in second rank to begin with. When I could do something like that. I think that's probably best. I need to get rid of the altar here. One time? Nope. Oh. Wow. That's as bad as it could have started. That's, that's statistically, I think that might be the worst possible start we could have had. Shit. All right, well, do that, I guess, and then. Ooh, yeah, that'll help. Ooh, divine grace. And we pray. Oh, the blind, come on. God damn it. All right, that's lucky. Still no blight, though. I guess I wasted all my blight luck. Boy, she is a problem up there. Holy shit. Get rid of this bleed. Um, I guess we're doing that, yeah. I'm going to have to pirouette eventually. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate this situation. Kind of want a healer, but I don't know if I'm able to do that right now. I think I need to, like, consecration or something. She's blind again? God damn it. All right. Oh. This is no time to falter. Maybe you? Maybe you're just a little bit of resolute? Hey, we got one. That's huge. Shady Bun Bun. Thank you for the sub as well. Welcome back. Give us a bear hug, please. Oh, right. That's a thing. Okay. Thankfully, we weren't really playing into that all that badly. Oh, boy. I don't feel so good, Mr. Bear. Out of the crit. There's the dodge. Okay, that's nice at least. I'm going to hand of light through this dodge plus. Oh boy, I really hope we can at the very least weaken her. Nope. Fuck. This is worth it. And then let's do that, I guess. Chance for the crit blight, which would do it. Oh, it's the armor. Weaken though. Much better. One more resolute. One more. Fine. 
damn it. Okay, she's dead to the DOT. Clear this DOT. This wound at least has been tended to. We are blinded again, unfortunately. God damn it. Oh, Flick would ignore the dodge, but I am still blinded. That was pretty good. Okay. Clear another block. Not the worst. Weakened too. Oh shit. That's really good. Heal the Vestal. Clear the dodge. Yeah. Okay, got to bleed off that. Now our number one priority is the altar. Got to find a way to kill that thing. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do that. Another block cleared. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not actually going to be able to find a way to do that here, unfortunately. Has to be the world's strongest poison dart, which ain't happening. I don't know if that vulnerable's worth it either, actually. This is... Oh, boy. I guess it will just clear a block. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta do it. Fucking hell. Okay. Here come the big boy hits. Can at least do this. Ignore block on aggressive stance with an execution. That's not going to matter yet. Okay. Regen again. Now we'll see some dredge crossover on Friday, though, at least, Kaz. Probably done with that game for now, but Dave's got a little extra taste for us soon. Also, bear pun, bear pun, bear pun. Thankfully, the crits on him don't really matter. And now I just got to hit the third rank. Sick. Please don't kill her. Thanks. That was nice. What a sweetheart. One more. Can we find a way? Regen's nearly gone. No luck on the dodge. Okay, at least the regen cancels that out. Those are sticking around for two more turns. We need to find a way to heal her. I need to freaking move forward, I guess. A master stroke. Minus two? Why? Oh, God. And why do you get first action? Don't do this! Oh, my God. An affliction. Oh, one the more try. Still. Cool. I'll take it. Never punished. <laughs> With shattered will. Yeah, that's absurd. That is, that should not have worked out that way. All right, dude. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize that was the thing I was doing there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, we have execution. Oh, that's not how that works, right? Yeah, it doesn't count an extra one. It's just if they have... If they have bad attitudes. That's what happens. She's Louise. The unrelenting application wow. of violence yields morbid gains. Go team go. Dark Lanthorn. That's a unique one to the duelist. Defensive stance on combat start. And applies blind on repost. Wow. That's pretty good. Absolutely give her this right away. Oh, right. We have the clenching claws now, too. I think we'll do that instead. And then this for fun. 
cool. There you go. There you go. There you go. Used every damn resource we got. We're still moving. Never punished minus the three people that have died. Right, yeah, you know, if you disregard that part. Otherwise, doing pretty good. Pay out to the doubters. Rest now for a time. Winded. Unfortunate. All right, let's see if something happens with this item now. Amongst the icons and relics, a ragged copy of the Crusader's Creed. The Crusader's Creed. An inspiration to the desperate and downtrodden. Spread the word amongst the peasantry, their defenders endure. Cool. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. So I guess this doesn't matter. Go ahead and equip that guy. Experimentation. Your academic instincts serve you well. I like it. All right. The word of the light will call forth the faithful. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah, let's go to the sprawl. In the maze. All cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. And then, of course, got to get another fresh pick me going here. If you'd like to be selected, that's P-I-C-K-M-E in the chat. We're going to get a brand new one going, so make sure you re-enter if you've already entered. Want to make sure we're getting folks that are here and ready to go. I feel like I should probably get the lever. Oh, I can't rename him. Oh, no. I assumed I'd be able to rename him if, if I selected him. But no, I guess we're going to have Honeypot. Well, sorry, guys. I'll get you in for the next one, at least. Running out of stress healing options. Yeah, that's true. I think peasantry means fetter. Spread the word among the peasantry that defenders endure. I just assumed it had to be an assistance encounter. What makes you think it'd be the, the fetter? And can't of our land. Crumbling and undone. <laughs> that's an awfully hot honey pot. That's good. The fetter is gentry, which is the opposite. Ah, okay. The roads are rife with peril. Noise. A little protection is always welcome. Fetter equals farms equals peasants. It's the countryside sort of makes sense. I'm pretty sure it'd just be an assistance encounter, but I suppose I could go that way. There's not not like a strong a draw to the sprawl here. On the road to damnation. Let's put your theory to the test. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. We have a lot of relationship help here, thankfully, which we desperately need, so this is extremely welcome. Let's get started on that. That was a phenomenal start. Keep it going. Don't forget we got Big Pig here too, man. We might actually be in pretty decent shape after this. I shouldn't have said anything. Um, unfriendly Leopard Duelist. Let's try that again. Gorgeous. Unfriendly Vestal Grave Robber. Awesome. Big pig! Hell yeah! Everybody friends! We are two away from a very friendly between the duelist and the leper. So let's do that. Not even stressed anymore. This is pretty fantastic. Okay. Save all this stuff still. Go ahead and give him these and then... Oh, Reverberating Redoubt definitely needs to go on him. Probably the Clenching Claws too. 
Yeah, I think that's best. Here, you can have this one. Man, he is already in great shape. Goddamn. One learns oh my god! And survival demands it. Eight mastery, let's go. Remove all dodge when not defensive stance. That's cool. I think that's worth it. Let's go for the leper upgrades real quick as well. We'll take the withstand here. We'll chop. We'll hew. Well, hold on. He's a tempest, isn't it? Yeah, he doesn't need the hew. What else we got? Absinthe upgrade's pretty good. I suppose I could upgrade to Divine Grace now and the Comfort. And I'm using Hand of Light a lot, actually, which is pretty damn good on upgrade, too. And Judgment, sure. Neat. All right, that went pretty well. Any more Provisioner stuff? Got a couple more Whiskey Flasks. To ease the rigors of the road. No need for the Stitching Kits. We get some Laudanum, I guess. Yeah, we do need some additional Stress Healing, don't we? We are ready. We gotta find another hospital to get rid of that shattered will, but otherwise. All set. Is there any relationship we could bring up to the next threshold with two? Not quite. So we'll hold on to the rest of that for now. Off to the fetter. I believe we're in chapter two, right? Yeah, seating sigh. Let's go. Looking for an assistance encounter. The rancid crop grows unchecked. There it is. And abhorrent. Well, the hero's trying to follow. Nice. Maze was actually pretty good for us here, I feel like, because it gave us a much higher chance of uh, finding that. Oh, wait, no, this wasn't Maze, though. That's right. Yeah, this is the better one. I'd say so, Sleepy. Yeah, I'm really into the DLC so far. If you're looking for a reason to get back into DD2, this is the perfect one. All right. Yeah, I think we're just hanging a hard left here. Let's do it. A rank four leper. Yeah, hold on. Let me fix that up real quick. Not ideal. That's the challenge mode. Lost and desperate. They need your help. Certainly want to try to avoid getting yet another confession boss buff here, so. Might, might have to have the loathing influence our directional choices. Oh, yeah. The forced interaction. We seek a lost knight. What have you heard? Crusaders were known to cash their spoils. Dude. That the poor might share in their conquests. I love this quest line. I just, I want to take a second, get some bear claps. Kudos to Red Hook for this. Not to mention, I want more of this. I want way more of this. I want, like, I want specific runs where you have to, like, follow a quest line like this. Hell, I want that to sh to just be random. I want it to be like, I just start a run out of the blue, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, by the way, we came across this uh, package that has like a mysterious note, and if you take it to an academic study, then maybe you'll be able to interact there, and then you can like blah, 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 blah. Like, that's cool, that's fun. I like that. Rumor of riches, a roughly drawn map revealing long lost caches of wealth, pillaged in wartime. Valuable now only to merchants, pitch fists, and churls. Have a whole DLC just based on those kind of things. Yeah, no doubt. I'm totally into it. Okay, An so problem, is it not? Let's pause again real quick here and take a look at what we got. Ah, this must be okay. So now I think we need to find another hoarder, right? Because the hoarder had something that we could have bought before, but we didn't have this, which, as you can see, is a currency. So I think he wants this so that we can get the thing from the hoarder and then hopefully we can proceed from there. Um, I'm not seeing a hoarder, unfortunately, so I think we're just going to have to go for some mystery nodes and hope for the best. But it's not looking like we're going to have a lot of opportunities to do that here. I'm wondering if you'll keep this through to the next run. 
and like the the quest will continue or if we'll have to start over either way i'm pretty sure i'm still going left here there is a watchtower there as well yeah i'm wondering if maybe it's worth sacrificing the hero shrine especially because we have one later just to see if we can find the hoarder there i think that might be the play The flame sputters. You must give hope to get it. No, don't don't tell me. I'm I'm fine with being in the dark here. Either way. All right. Yeah, we'll hit the watchtower just to see if we can find one. No need for the food. Let's see if we can get a decent combat item out of this. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Not really. Another barricade, though. And the walls return. I love the look of this on the road, too. That's really nice. Ordained spike barriers. My worst nightmare. Let's start with... You? I think it's the lunge isn't really going to do a lot, isn't it? Yeah, we should probably go... Or not the lunge of the poison there. I think the lunge is better. Probably be withstanding here. Oh, if you haven't seen this yet, yeah, this is the new spiked barricade that we can run into. Interesting new combat modifier. So we start with defensive stance on her now, which is really nice. I think that... Uh, I think they'll go with flesh to begin with. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to be good. I guess faint is the only really valid option here, isn't it? Oh, this is new. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. You haven't seen this one yet. This one, yeah, is a weapon rack. Interesting. Adjacent allies gain strength and block tokens at the start of the round. Applies bleed when hit, applies combo when hit. Okay, so this is the same, but it's like slightly better. Interesting. Same amount of HP as well. Okay, gotta keep that in mind, I guess. Why am I being weakened here? They must have done that from a status. Get a little sneak damage in there to stack the bleed up a little bit higher. These things are problems, man. Like, unless... Unless we've got good ways to uh, take them out, I feel like these could be issues. The Tempest with the Weaken, of course, is going to be slightly less effective, but there's something. There we go. I comboed off that. Regen time. Maybe you should stop having your guys headbutt the spike shields, but it's fun. Mistimed, misdirected. Oh, I had the reverberating action there, didn't I? He's got the speed threshold met too, right? Yeah, there we go. That's good. This is no time to falter. Are they weak to fire? I believe so. Yeah, they have very low burn resist, which is a logical mechanic. Cannot withstand again, so if you could just die, that'd be sick. Thanks. Welcome back, Tempest. Missed you, bud. Still, still rocking a blind here. Excellent. I think we'll go for the lunge. Gotta remember, I gotta remember that leper situation. Can't really do a move back here either, can we? Man, good bleed resist at least, that's nice. F it. Because we can pirouette here and then he'd be able to hit pretty hard actually after the ruin triggers. So let's do that. Sounds like fun. Oh, he's not even guarded anymore. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, you are... 
really hanging on here, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Duelist, for not punishing me for my foolishness. Uh, let's bandage. Oh, the weapon rack doesn't guard. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it did. You also don't have to kill it, apparently. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Cool. All right. Oblivion encounter, and then we're hitting that watchtower and hopefully finding a hoarder here. Behold, the infinite emptiness of the void. Let's keep working on the Vestal here, yeah. Hey, Barry, quick question. Was there a reason you didn't continue playing Signalis? It seemed like you enjoyed it. It's good. It's just not for me. And I, I had a similar... I'm going to have to provide people with probably a similar reason for the reason that I'm not continuing Cocoon either. It just... I don't know, man. The puzzle games... I just get too frustrated, particularly playing them on stream. I just always have this pressure in the back of my mind of like, I'm not solving this fast enough. People are losing interest. They don't care anymore. You got to do it quicker. You're not smart enough. They think you're stupid. That dialogue is just constantly running in the back of my mind when I play those kinds of games. So they're both very good. I just don't think I'll be finishing them on stream. That's a withstand, right? Yeah. I was totally expecting some sort of suicide attack from the rack. That would, would be par for the course, I guess, right? See, like, I know that, like, maybe 1% of my viewers at this point are the kind of people who would, like, give me grief for that kind of thing. But it doesn't stop it from being in my mind, you know? You can only do that to B-Rex, yeah, exactly. Steady yourself. Hmm. I feel attacked. There he is, the 1%! Get him! Weeded him out! I miss my acid rain. I want it back. Mistimed, misdirected. Yep. We've certainly proven true the idea that the duelist is compatible with just about any kind of build, haven't we? Without necessarily meaning to, it just sort of happened. That's nice. Ah, the bear optimal. Pretty self-sufficient. Yeah, she's got a lot going for her, dude. An opportunity squandered. Nope. Well, here come a couple big hits. Yeah, I haven't even tried the other paths, huh? That's true. This is no time to falter. Well, too bad she died. Oh? Extra action. I can't save her though. Ah oh, man. I got excited for a second. I'm just gonna be fucking blinded through the whole thing here, man. Oh boy. Can you survive one more time for me? Can you do it? I believe. A little barrel lock, cross her fingers. Come on now, here we go. Come on. Ah, oh, that's honestly, I deserve it. Well, it makes our choice of whether or not we're going for the hero shrine anymore, doesn't it? I think he's missed every attack so far. Welcome back, Tempest. Missed you, buddy. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Just die. She earned her marks. Yeah, she certainly in our path. made it quite a ways further than I expected, given the uh, amount of time she's hit death's door already. Okay, goodbye. Give me one here, bud. Oh, 
Not great. Her back wasn't strong enough for this team. Gonna do a few more squats to carry this junk around. There you go, buddy. I guess that's probably worth a bandage. Oh, well. Am I just solemnity anyway? Yeah. And Grace? No, I think we just... Get through the armor there. There we go. Cool. Not too bad. We can still survive this. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. He lied. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. The loathing whispers. It's gonna be real rough. You can have that at least. Don't need that anymore. Don't need these anymore. I guess we don't really need the Nightbird's End, do we? Require careful deliberation. Not a lot of reason to hang on to that anymore, I guess. Get another goddamn barricade, though. Dude, that looks really Reliable good. Reliable information brings accurate insight, after all. I really like the way that that looks, like, particularly with it, with it in the distance. is very intimidating. I think we can still find the Crusader. Yeah, I wonder if we could find him and just have him get into our party now. That would be sick. It'd be very convenient. Ow. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Still doing fine. Okay, so the weapon rack is not gonna guard, which means a breakthrough. Just go right for that dude. Who is also not ordained? Okay, that was, that's very nice. And we still have bandages. So we're gonna we're gonna be okay here. Go with stand for sure. The background makes the coach look small. Yeah, it really does, huh? That thing is massive. Thematically, I just love it, too. Like, I, I, I just really into this whole deal. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. Oh, well. Oh, right. That's a range move, though. So that's not going to apply the, um, the bleed, which is great. Okay. Same with that. Oh, shit. We found the solution. And this dude's dead to the blade. This is no time to falter. Oh, that was a giant bleed, though. What the fuck? Okay, he will at least be able to, um... She'll be able to heal off the corpse in a second here. I might even have to do this, yeah. Yeah, that's probably best. Relief comes rarely in these times. Right, it's only half damage, but at least we're not, like, endlessly stacking up the goddamn bleed on him. All right, he's going to get guarded again here. That gash is concerning, dude. So much bleed off of that. Sheesh. This wound at least has been tended to. Good old bandages. And Hugh makes sense. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Live by the Tempest, die like, or die, die like the Tempest. Yeah, no, that's that's a lot more accurate, Freudian slip. Thanks for correcting that for me. Agony by accumulation. Uh-huh. I still don't want to bleed that, yeah, so I'm going to bleed from that, rather. He's got some blight resistance, apparently. Yeah, oh, that's why he's hail enemies. Now I see... That's the Tempest we all know and love slash hate. Indeed. No more Solemnity, so just keep on shopping. Toasty! 
Hi, chat. Not to brag, but I sent over 3,000 bear hugs this year. We gotta One bump those numbers up. In our path. Those are rookie numbers. You gotta get them bear hugs going. Oh, and a lull, apparently. Just a, just a sneaky little lull in there, too. Thanks, dude. All right, Watchtower. Show me the goodies. Hoarder? 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 No hoarder. Ow. Man. That sucks. I'll tell you what. If that's the case, now all we want to do is try to avoid shit. Though decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. Just trying to get to the end here, so... I'm gonna go for whatever path allows us the potential to uh, avoid encounters. He says, going toward the creature den, I recognize, but I'm gonna just cross my fingers that they don't force us to fight it. That we may properly excise our portion. You know, like that. Like how they did. Oops. Um. Yeah, all right, fine. Let's go die. Yay. What does the Twitch recap thing look like? It's an NFT drop. Plus two and full agree. It's a little weird. The way they're doing it this year is, yeah, it's it's just, it's got a strange vibe. They had like that weird recap game that they made too. It was just like the the very simple two D platformer. Yeah, I don't know, man. Power to him for trying something new, I guess. Do, do, do. I will get over a thousand in that game. I did like it. <laughs> it reminded me of, um, God, this was 10 years ago. Holy shit. 10 years ago. Um, me and a bunch of the other NLSS guys were in this uh, tournament for a game called Cloudberry Kingdom, which was also just like a very simple 2D platformer where you had to like jump through obstacles and collects tokens slash coins, whatever you want to call them. I got like so into that back in the day. It was like just this very simple 2D platformer. All it takes is a an element of competition to get me going, I guess. Which makes sense to me. Too many dodges. Back when procedural generation was new tech. It was random, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, it was just like it's like background, amount of platforms, type of obstacles. There weren't even that many. It was like spike balls and lasers. Oh, and like platforms that would disappear and reappear. I like think that actually might have been the entirety of it. Yeah, pick to the face might be good here, huh? That's a good call. That's a withstand. Actually, let's do a ruin. No, nah, that's unnecessary. Wow, wow, wow. Might actually try to stall this out a little bit. I feel like we should take advantage of every thing that the game gives me here. So let's. Well, eh, fuck it. Let's not even finish that thought. Obstacle in our path. Who needs it?
I was gonna try to give us a bonus round there, but we're good. Resisted the stun too, that's really good. At least these guys aren't gonna be regenerating their goddamn dodges the whole time. Okay, at least they're not stunning the grave robber either. They certainly fucking tried. I wonder if this is worth it to chance here. Probably. Oh. God damn it. All right, no blind on the leper at least, so. One down. There we go. This actually went like, this was not a problem at all. Old fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Which has me believing we could possibly make it through to the end of this region after all. I'm Measure speaking slightly violence, prematurely here. Judiciously. But I feel like we're pretty much through this. Let's see if we can land a blight here. Actually, let's do this again. Get the leper some more targets. And less blight, please. That's what I'd appreciate. Oh, yeah, speaking of targets. A prime one. Booyah! Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. Yeah, we're good. We're good, just get it. Chop them up. Bear, I've been loving the YouTube shorts you've been posting lately. Thanks! I've been experimenting with that. A lot of people have been digging them. We are the flame. Burning brightly for all the world to see. That was not worth. Yucky, dude. Discounted trinkets and a mastery point. Okay. Let's just equip some combat items here, I guess. I don't think I need that many linens. Yeah, it's un unnecessary. Okay. Got the hero gold completed, apparently. That's nice. More candles. Hooray. <laughs> I think I want to post the slowed version of a keyboarder. I think I want to, the, the 0.25x version of the I'm a fucking god yell. Because if I'm not going to use this, some sort of stream alert. First, they ate the rotten flesh of their animals. Then, still hungry. What am I even doing? Turned upon themselves. Please don't make me fight. Yay! Dump all the relics and run! You can't take it with you! Right, we do have two road battles, though. But a hospital, which is really good. Oh, wait, no, we don't have Shattered Will anymore. We have a Shattered Duelist. So, you, coach limping. Be prudent. I guess that's not really going to matter, but it's probably still worth it to go for a uh, go for a quick trip to the hospital here. Channel point redemption win. I got to figure out how to do that. I got to ask Rex. I was doing that fa fancy business. Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. Can you check how much removing positive quirks cost this time around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. You might actually use the hospital to heal. That's true, the isn't it? of an invading army. Scattered and lost in this dying land. The rare hospital healing opportunity. We do certainly have a ton of money still, so... Not a bad idea. This is odd. This is probably going to be easier, I'd imagine. This sort of situation. Oh, this is ranged, isn't it? Isn't pirouette ranged? Nice. That's really good. I wonder we're not getting blood from that. That pet Tommy is so good too, man. Oh my god. We can have that in the main emotes now. I think we even have enough slots for that one. 
I gotta get to work on that, dude. I completely forgot. If I can make it, I'll definitely attempt the lungs fight, Brazen, especially because we'll get a replacement character from the inn again. We'll just actually use the entirety of our roster in a single run. Alrighty. Hmm. Let's do a consecration in the front rank. It's not a bad idea, Hevs. Yeah, I think we're going to be back to DD2 for at least a couple of weeks here. Uh, let's see. I think that's the play. Because she'll act before the, the leper, right? Although she won't have pirouette up, so let's wait for one round to have her move forward, I think. Yeah. Make it a total party kill, yeah. That's a fun achievement to go for too, huh? See if you can manage to get your entire party wiped in a single run. That would that would require like actually playing well still. That re that requires a commitment to not only like getting your characters killed but you have to like play well enough to get them to get only a couple of them killed at a time but then still make it to the end of the region to get the characters back and then get them killed again which i have unintentionally done so far today i mean intentionally and impressively done so far today wow bear just always in control, huh? It's incredible. Big heal? Big heal. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Ow. Damn, they hurt. Oh. Steady yourself. Oh, hey. Relax. We're gonna we're gonna heal here. We're gonna solemnity. We're gonna judgment, I guess. Another impediment. That was impunity. Not very nice. A little less jabbing, huh? There we go. Get blocked that time at least. One more dead of night. And then the chop ought to do it. Pretty close. There we go. Just hoping to sneak in one more comfort there. I might even be able to get another regen. Or not another regen, another comfort. Or I could just kill him. Or I could just kill him. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Abandoned or forgotten. It Ooh. is ours now. That was really good. When you have to kill Bounty Hunter 2 for that? Yeah, I guess if you wanted the bonus points. If you're really going gung-ho with it. Uh, yeah, that's probably for the best. And then those are clearly not what we need. I don't know why I still have those equipped. We gotta be playing this safe with the combat items right now. No need for the slime mold. No need for the apples and cheese either. I don't know why I'm keeping those either. Okay, so we're gonna get healed from this hospital. We don't have the... Duelist for the hero shrine anymore, unfortunately, so I guess we'll just take a free mastery point out of that. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work anymore, does it? What's gonna happen here? I think we're just gonna, like, go by. By confronting the past, we learn yep. to face the future. Nothing to be done. Oh, well. See the debris ahead? That is where they'll make their move. Don't, though. Okay, no barricade this time. I'd, I'd probably prefer that, honestly. I think these enemies... Oh, no! Oh, God, why? I'll take the barricade. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. The twisted faces of the damned. Piled high and cloaked in malice. <laughs> well, this is an appropriate conclusion, I guess. Good way to round it out. Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> it's a 3v3. Plus, you know, the collector. Ordained to, yeah, yikes. That's terrible. Thunderclap to bring him to the front. Or to stun three of the enemies, that's also pretty good. That's an effective use of the item. Okay. A couple of combos. I think it's spore grenade time. And a pirouette. That's not fantastic. His blight resist is so high, though. He's got to get through the block there, too. So i got to find a way to kill him, I guess. Tonic for the Grave Robber. I like a Hand of Light here. Oh, and then this chop might work out pretty well, too. He is strengthened, after all. Let's do it. Decent. Decent. Still not blinded. Thank you, Block Plus. Stumbling Blah! The stun! Rhythm of the Blight, too. Yikes. All right, we're getting some reverberating damage at least. I suppose I should do that. Yeah, it didn't stun him back at least. That'll help. It's just losing out on my chop again. Sheesh. Okay, try. Get the Blight back on him. A little bear optimal for my man at arms. Okay. Stun Highway Man at least. I think it's going to be another Blight opportunity. I got to try to get some sort of DOT going on him. This will kill you, and then that opens up a chop from the Leper. I think actually Consecration might be the best play here, but I really should do this. Hopefully he doesn't just resummon immediately. Yep. Welcome back. Not ordained, though. Slightly better. That's really good. Doesn't have protection here either. Let's go. Nine damage. Crushed it. Oof. Incremental. But deadly all the same. That's probably a dead grave robber. That's something. Maybe the leopard can carry us to victory here. We'll at least be strengthening him a hell of a lot with the hand of light. Not fully out of it, but oh yeah, we're fully out of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it, dude! I can't believe it was the goddamn collector. So absurd. I guess we'll hew that, and then... Adrenaline Tonic actually works pretty well, yeah. And then I'm hoping we can maybe go to regen there, too. At least cancel out some effect. We are currently being collected, it seems, yeah. He's halfway down, I don't know, man. Miracle outside shot. Reverberating readout. Clenching claws. Pulling off something. We're through the block again. We got a chop opened up. We just got to get through the blind. Cannot gain block or dodge. Holy shit. A miscalculation, perhaps. That badass little sidestep, huh? Come on, buddy. That's a crit to the Vestal. Okay, still alive. And the bleed to the highwayman. Huh. Yeah, well, we keep the vulnerable there, right? Yeah, that's got to be the play. And then... All right. 
All right, then. That's pretty rough. Come on. Oh, my God. They're both alive. No way. No way. <laughs> God damn it. This is no time to falter. With one big chop there, I was beginning to believe, but not today. Okay. Total of violent equation unfavorably rounded down. Fair enough. That's a real fun start, though. And you will yet prevail. That's a very fun start to the DLC here. All right, so we got a couple of questions we're going to have to answer next time. Those being whether or not the Crusader mission is a uh, persistent one, whether we're going to just pick that up from there, and uh, what the... Uh, well, there was another question I forgot. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. If you're over on YouTube, please leave a like on the VOD. Those help the videos quite a bit. Thank you for watching. Appreciate all the support. Let's go spend some candles, I suppose, too. We'll do that before we uh, wrap up here. But only if you like the video. You're not liking it? Well, I'll wait. Still burns. Hope remains. No. No, I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it until you like the video. Oh you oh you did oh you did. Okay, sorry, my bad. It was not a perfect world, but it was ours. And we must fight to restore it. Ninety-nine candles. The Crusader ain't one. Let's just do this. Her sword upon the mantle. She will seek meaning beyond the blade. We still got plenty of candles for when we actually unlock the Crusader as well. Ooh, with the Duelist Pass, she starts combat with the aggressive stance. Nice. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, that's a trinket. My bad. I thought that was a path. Yeah, there's the intrepid path as well. I live for this. Cool. All right, good stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.